Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome to the stream tonight. What is going on, everybody? What is going on? I see a handful of beautiful people in here already. I hope your Friday going into Saturday has been absolutely exceptional. Tonight is... And Indie Night. So we're going to be starting a new indie game tonight. That game being Black Sad, Under the Skin. Um, so for those of you who are not aware, this game is a detective noir game. Choices matter kind of game. Um, and it is... Uh, and it is... Um, turn down the graphical settings here a little bit. Um, it's supposed to be very, uh, very much like the Telltale games. If any of you have played any of the Telltale games, I love the Telltale games. Absolutely love them. So what is, uh, what is going on, everybody? What is going on? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Once again, good to see a handful of people here. Let's go ahead and... Why is nothing working? There we go. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh, get the introductions out of the way. Welcome in again, everybody. Let me know if it's super laggy. It might be a little laggy. Uh, so let me know if I need to adjust some settings here and there. Uh, I might have to. Because it looks like it's a, little, it's a little stuttery for us tonight. You like The Wolf Among Us? Yeah, that was a great game, Jungle. A great game. Alright, uh, about the... Uh, yeah, like I said, tonight's an indie night. We actually didn't have any requests. I thought we were going to. Uh, but we ended up not having any requests. So for right now... We are um, uh, pretty open, so I decided to start Black Sad. Looks like this game takes around 10 to 12 hours, so I figure we can do this in three to four streams, something like that. So this will give us something to do in between uh, or before the next request comes through. So, um, But I'm definitely, I've been wanting to play a, a, a point-and-click adventure, which this isn't exactly that, but it's pretty close. So I've been wanting to experience something like this for a while, so I'm pretty excited to jump in to this, uh, to this game, or to a game like this, and I saw Black Sad a long time ago, and I've always been interested in the premise, so, uh, hopefully it'll be a good game, it looks like it has pretty good reviews and everything, uh, but welcome into HJ, Hannah, Legion, Red, Stalking, and Jungle, welcome in everybody, welcome in, order you spaghetti and meatballs, Jungle? Uh, will you accept yogurt, vanilla, raisins instead? That's the best I can offer you right now, Jungle. It's the best I can offer you. Well, you see, now that is funny that you say that, Inverted. That's funny that you say that. Because legitimately, I always kind of just lightly skim the Steam reviews for games like this. The first Steam review I read for this game said, It's like a Telltale game, except your choices actually matter. So, here's hoping that the Steam review is right. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. Uh, but yes, we do have a question of the day, as always, friends. And that question of the day is, what animal would you choose to be? Since this is an anthropomorphic detective game, I figured that was an appropriate question of the day. I see Inverted says, a fox. You love fox. I figured you would have said koala, Inverted. So tell me why you love foxes. Um... Stalking says, a human? Aw, oh, come on. That's the biggest cop-out answer I've ever seen. Gotta give me a better answer than that, Stalking. Hannah says, you love hamsters, so... You, you would be the real animal that has the nickname Pikachu or a squirrel since it's one of your favorite animals. Okay, okay, okay. What? Oh, no, Jungle! No! But... But, 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 but you don't ever really play games, Jungle. You can just, you can just not worry about it and just experience it together with us, right? Just play it simultaneously, exactly, moment to moment, exactly like I do. Um, but yeah, I mean, I understand, Jungle. There's been times when I haven't been able to watch videos and streams and stuff because of that exact reason. So I definitely, I definitely get where you're coming from. I definitely get where you're coming from. You would not like to sleep for 90% of the day. <laughs> Why not, Inverted? That sounds like the life right there. Also, you'll notice I have a terrible hair day today. 
Like, normally it doesn't bother me, but my hair just absolutely will not stay down. It will not comb straight. It's all nasty. It has been like this all day. I need to need to definitely shampoo it tomorrow, probably, because it is super, super wonky today. Um, but, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and see what Black Sad is all about. So we're going to go ahead and get the game started here. Uh, once again, thanks for being here. If you do happen to stop in on the YouTube side, definitely leave a comment. Let me know that you are watching here. Foxes. Psh, ah, come on, stalking. Come on. He, he, I'm not going to add other than humans. I need a real answer. I need a real answer. I don't want. I don't want the human answer. All right. So I think I need to use a controller for this game because the keyboard and mouse controls are pretty wonky. So, let's go ahead and get this started here. Let's get this started. Play. seen the body? <laughs> okay. This interactive drama uses similar to con similar controls to other games of a genre. Do you still want to enable the tutorial? Sure. We'll do the tutorial. We want the full game experience. Yes. Yes. Full of energy, super enjoyable, and they're excited for, like, everything. Fair enough, fair enough. An elephant. That'd be an interesting one inverted. Adjust the contrast until the silhouette on the right is no longer visible. I think I was pretty much perfect right on. Pretty much, like, if I slouch, it's, like, right here. If I, like, right here, I can't see it at all. So I'll turn it up just one little notch. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Uh, yeah, I always answer the question today myself, stalking. Um, I don't know about this one, though. I have to think about this one. What animal would I want to be? I mean, my default answer would immediately be monkey, but I mean, that's pretty similar to human. Hey, Lazarix! Good to see ya! How's my hot tamale doing tonight, Lazarix? And Shu is here as well! Welcome in, Shu! You didn't know I streamed? This is when I always stream, Shu. This is literally the exact same time that I always stream. Except this is a Friday indie night. John Blacksad, the private detective. Sometimes when I walk into my office, I get the feeling that I'm walking among the ruins of a lost civilization. Not because of the reigning disorder, but because it feels like the remains of the civilized person I used to be. Where is that damn detective? I'm gonna rip his head off. I swear I'll tear his eyes out. Hey! Hand over the pictures, you bastard. Now! Otherwise, you're gonna be dead meat. Hear me, cat? Tutorial conversation. When talking with other characters, you get to choose but both your questions and answers. In some conversations, you can take all the time you need. In others, you'll have to think quickly and reply before your time is up. In these occasions, you will also can also choose to stay silent. That's always cool. I like it when you get the option to stay silent. Uh, you've been cleaning all day, Lazarix? <laughs> basically, inverted. Basically. Fortnite? Ha, ha, ha. Shoe says a giraffe. You would have a bunch of access to food that is on tall trees. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Bebop, you mean rock steady? Wait, what? What is that a reference to? Definitely a game. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a uh, similar to a Telltale game. You ever played any of the Telltale games, Lazarix? Highly recommend them. Legion says a wild cat or hedgehog. Okay, okay. So you fit right in any of the Sonic, any Sonic character. Oh, Bebop and Rocksteady from TMNT. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, when you said that, it reminded me. I forgot the names right off, but yeah, good call, good call. 
Can I pause here for a second? I want to, uh, I want to check my settings. I want to turn on subtitles if there's an option. Uh, who are you? Do I know you? Your face rings a bell, but... You've been spying on me! You took pictures of me with a lady! <laughs> well, then you'll understand why I didn't really focus on your face, right? I'm gonna kid! <laughs> okay. Okay, I like this already. A really small indie comic? Yeah, definitely, Jungle, definitely. Yeah, I can't stand to not have subtitles on. It drives me insane. I, you're getting scientific on me. I don't know what that means, stalking. Every now and then, you'll have to act swiftly and use the left stick to move in the direction of the arrow. Stay alert. You may have a very short window of time to move. You! <laughs> quick time events. At certain moments during the game, you'll need to quickly press the indicated button to perform specific actions. Until the circle around it is completed. Oh, big surprise. Give me the goddamn pictures! Throughout the game, you'll have to make decisions. Some of them have minor consequences, like whether choosing to throw a punch or strike with a headbutt. But be careful, some decisions will be more transcendental. Ooh, that's a vocabulary word. And have a major impact down the line. In some cases, yeah, yeah, we already said that. We already said that, okay. It wasn't yeah, the first time we uh, had uh, a guy like him. Headbutt. Uh, well, at least I bought enough time uh, to aim at his soft skills. Uh, I gotta go for the groin. Uh, uh, Let it and kill the guy, okay. Gun. <clears throat> Man, you broke my jaw. Well, now it matches your marriage. If you show my wife those pictures, I'm dead meat. You'll ruin my life. You're the Please. one who cheated on your wife. First, you try to kill me, and now you beg for mercy. Uh, first you try to kill me. Sure, the gun didn't work. So why not shed some tears? I wasn't gonna use it, man. I've never shot a fly, and I'm no two-timer either. It only happened once, for God's sake. I'm just her bodyguard, that's all. She seduced me. I love my wife, honest to God. I, I even quit the damn job for her. You can't break up a family for one tiny mistake. Notebook notifications. The most important information you find during the investigation will be recorded in your detective notebook. Uh, when a new entry is included, the notification will pop up. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, you broke your family, not me. Breaking up your family? I don't think you need my help there, buddy. Okay, how about this? You give me those pictures, and tell her a white lie, and I pay you ten times what she's offering. Ooh, you ten times. You save my family, and you make a pretty penny. What do you say? Deal? For as long as I could remember, I had collected nothing more than bad gigs, debt, and sorrow. My self-respect and bank account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. Uh... Deal! While I hated his offer, it could certainly help me start anew. Run some ads in the papers, get better clients. All right. I'll tell your wife you're clean. Get the hell out of here before I... Decision notification. When you make a decision that has a major influence on the course of events, a notification will pop up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, I'm just saying. This guy seems like a guy that would take some money. I'm just saying. So the question... the question, Yeah, I mean, he did have a horn. That was a good call, Lazarus. Um, the question is, how do I want to play this game, right? Because there's, there's, there's two or three different ways that you can play games like this, in my mind. I can either play the game as myself making decisions that I, Josh the Bearded Fool, would make. Or I can uh, play the game as if I'm playing a character. So what is uh, Black Sad? What is the detective going to do based upon the information that we have on him? The problem is, is to play the latter way, we need a little bit of a basis, and we don't really have any basis to go off of. 
Um, so it's a little hard for that one. The third way that you can play it is to just create a personality for the character that you just go with. And I'm leaning towards that option for this. It depends on the game for me, Lazarus. It depends on the game. Like, for example, when I played the Mass Effect series back in the day, that was not me. That was Commander Shepard. In a game like this, I feel like it's kind of like the same thing. It's hard for it to be me, but I feel like at this point I can I can put a character on this character and how I'm leaning at it is maybe he's like kind of like a rough detective, you know, not afraid to take a bribe. That's kind of where I'm at with it right now. He has a heart, but he's not going to not going to kill a guy or something like this, but you know, he's not he's not exactly clean. So, that's how I, that's kind of how I'm looking at it right. Now. You're playing the drum game cuz he will welcome in friend. Yeah, I guess you can do nothing, too, which it freaks me out, too, Inverted. That always freaks me out. Hey, music, what's going on? Catlock Holmes. Yeah, I, I'm going to check for subtitles. Um. Regret it, pal. Three. Thank God. Two. Put that money to good use. One. You won't regret helping out Eugene Colbert. I promise you that. Eugene Colbert. My uninvited guest had left me several gifts. First of all, a massive headache. That guy's skin was hard as a rock. Second of all, more money than I deserved. And a free gun. Third. The feeling that my moral compass wasn't quite as calibrated as I thought. Last but not least, the certainty that more gifts were yet to come. Uh, he's a nice guy. You'll, uh... <sighs> you see what I said about my pal Black Sad? Doesn't even know you. And he's already offering you a seat. <laughs> Jake, how the hell am I supposed to guess it's you if you don't even knock first? Shut up and listen, buddy. All right? I brought you a client. I'm loving the character design. Definitely seems like there's a little, there's quite a few loading screens in this game. I'm noticing. So we don't get to hear the story. So she's talking for a long time. Famous actress N Natalia Wilford murdered at home. That's to be relevant. A star has been eclipsed. And that's why we need to find him soon, or we, we will have a very serious problem. Mm. Thanks for the information and the picture. They'll really come in handy. Let me see if I have this straight. Hot spots. Use the to navigate through different hot spots. Uh, select the hot spot you want to interact with. Okay. All right. All right here we go. Settings. Uh, we want to check and see if there's a subtitle option. Don't really need a tutorial for how to navigate uh, a settings menu. Um. There we go. Subtitles. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I can't stand to play a game without subtitles. Uh, yeah, but this is Black Sad music. This is a, uh, a detective game. A Choices Matter uh, adventure detective game. Ma no, I don't think this is the same girl, Lazar. I think this is an entirely unrelated character. Thanks for the lurk there, Inverted. 
Subtitle gang. Yep, I watch everything with subtitles. I don't want to miss anything, you know? I want to pick up every word, everything. I want it. I want it all. Um... Oh, really? Inverted Season 2 didn't affect Season 3. I can't remember how much of that I played. I played Walking Dead 1, one of the best games ever. I played Walking Dead Season 2. I played the 400 Days. I don't know if I ever actually played the third episode or beyond. I can't remember. Maybe I did the third one? It's hard for me to remember exactly. Alright. Let's go ahead and keep on moving here, friends. You hate life without subtitles? I mean, I don't really have any hearing problems, but I just, you know, just prefer to have subtitles. Oh, I'm actually using the D-pad. Okay. Uh, so do I want to focus on the... the it's not a cat. What is he, a leopard? Is he like a leopard or the dog? Uh, the dog. Bobby Yale, a boxer at Dunn's Gym, has a crucial fight against the reigning champion in two weeks. But he disappeared two days ago. Yes. So the boxer disappeared two days ago when Dunn died. Stone versus Yale. Your father, Joe Dunn, boxing manager and gym owner, hanged himself two So he days. was the one that hanged himself? Yes. Interesting. So Sonya Dunn is the leopard's daughter. In short, if Bobby Yale is a no-show for his fight, you'll have to pay a fine. But since you don't have the cash on hand, your father's gym would have to close. Yes. So yes. you want me to find Bobby Yale? Yes. No. Jake wants you to find Bobby. Jake? Oh, I see. Well, first of all... Might be a lynx. You're sure your father killed himself? I'm your best bet or accept my condolences. First of all... Okay, he's going to be polite here. It's a client. that We want the money. I'm really sorry, Miss Dunn. Please accept my condolences. Thank you. Damn it, John. Will you take the case or not? Um, we'll talk many when it's all over. Sure, but it won't be cheap. Sorry, but no. Oh, I can turn down the case? I, I want money. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a cheapskate. Sure. I will. But we're talking about Madison Square Garden. The stakes are high, which can only mean things will get ugly behind the scenes. Not to mention pricing. Yes, Mr. Blacksad. If you find Yale and he fights, I'll be able to pay you whatever you ask for. I accepted the case, pointing out the costs. Perfect. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this so far. I hope that these little decisions do make differences down the line. Boomer Comics? I mean, you probably have to murder him, Lazarus. Even on TV? It's hard to understand medical terms without subtitles? Yeah, exactly, Legion. Especially if you watch shows that like don't have good audio balancing. Like Walking Dead, for example. When I've watched that, the audio balancing is terrible. It's hard to hear words, but you... Everything's so loud, except for talking. Hey, New York kids. A little bit of a lagginess there for a minute. Dilly's Liquors. Don't say that backwards. So there's no humans, it looks like, so it is all animals. Anthropomorphic animals. Tenet? That a, that's a movie, right? Joe Dunn's Boxing Gym. I know you already went to Yale's apartment and found nothing, but I'll search it myself at some point. Bobby Yell's address, okay. That cleaning lady, Miriam... Parnell, the one who found Joe Dunn's body. She works part-time at Sam's Diner, just down the road on the left, right? That's right. Uh, I think I might uh, pay her a visit as well. And the gym, of course, to see what I can find. Okay, I think I've got enough to start with for now. Mary Purnell, waitress. Okay, so now it's going to open up and give us options. <laughs> Use the left stick to move! What?! This is crazy! 
Expand the exploration zone. Navigate through different hot spots. Okay, it's cool. Select the hot spot you want to interact with. Is that done? Wow. Wow. Done. Musician. Oh, so you can zoom. That's actually good. Zooming is important. B2, exit the detail shot of the selected hotspot. Right. Tip disabled. Notebook. LB to open the notebook. Once the notebook is open, you can go through all the notes you've taken during the investigation, select the character's information you want to see, help bar in the lower part shows all controls and their function, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Probably should have not enabled the tutorial. Okay, so this is cool. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. So you you can just kind of read your notes about all the characters. This is really cool. Thanks for the lurk there, uh, Hannah. It is a newer movie. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, audio balancing is a problem. We're throwing at you and it's kind of happening, but you liked it for what it was. To prevent the onset of World War Three. Playing with controller. I think I have to. I don't know if this game even has full, like... The controls are really weird. I couldn't even navigate the menu. It was, like, all keyboard and no mouse. So it looked weird. It looked really weird. <laughs> we are not cousins, Lazarus. We are not cousins. All right. Uh, deduction screen. Okay. Oh, this is, like, the Batman. Didn't Batman, one of the Batman games, have a thing similar to this? You cannot make any deductions right now. First, you need to gather enough clues. <laughs> okay, that tells us a lot. That's actually cool, though. Uh, access the menu. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Hall of Fame. Load a game. Check your stats. Okay. Tip disabled. Okay, so now we can actually walk around. I might need to turn down the graphical setting just a little lower. It's just a little jittery on the on the He's mad. Um let's look at your black sad and see exactly what it is. Here you can see your behavioral stats. The decisions you made in Black Sad's shoes, your acts and choices define the character. This is cool. Oh, and you even have a money profit. Oh, that's really nice. This is this is really creative. Music says question day, you want to be a gerbil or a hamster? Why is that? Okay, so this is cool. This is cool. I like how it even has a silent and a talkative section. That's actually pretty cool, too. It's really hard for me to justify being silent. That's one of the things I struggle with because I feel like if I'm, if I'm silent, I miss out on on stuff. So that, this is interesting. This is interesting. Because they're so cute. Oh, do you want to be cute? I'm swift and not clumsy. This is cool. I like this a lot. This is a really cool system, I think. Just... Assuming that it's it's used well. It's a good idea, at least. We'll see how it comes out. Oh, yeah. While I'm in here, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the settings, because, like I said, it's a little laggy. I think I have the settings a little high, anyway. Um, general quality... Oh, I'm only on high? I thought I was on very high. I was I was on very high. Okay, well, well, we'll leave it on high. Alright. Yeah, exactly, Legion, exactly. Okay, we'll see if that makes any difference. It seems like it's a little jittery still, but not, like, bad. I like I like how this game works, though, already. Like, I'm, I'm loving the, the, the premise of it. Don't bother her right now. I better now. leave these two alone. Okay, I guess he doesn't want us bothering her right now. Uh, what do you mean by that, stalking? 
Uh, I mean, I, I record at native resolution, and then it is uh, downscaled for the stream. I mean, I'm playing the game at 1080 just for my own, like, view, if that's what you're asking. Also, it makes the, it stretches the screen weird if I change it, of course. Wait, what? Oh, I found a collectible. During the investigation, you'll find Hall of Fame sports cards. It's you, not Blackside, who finds these cards, and that the collection is not relevant to the storyline. Oh, well, that's cool. We already found a secret. This is cool. I like this. You'd be that jellyfish that's immortal and can't die from old age. Okay, okay. You can choose this to open the album, see how the card is placed in a slaughter. You continue to play. Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Hall of Fame here. Yeah, I'm liking this game so far. First impressions are pretty high. I figured I would. Uh, Hall of Fame sports cards, blah, 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 blah. Displays the most illustration, the, uh, sorry, the most illustrious stars of four sports. 23 cards of each sport. Wow, so there's almost 196? No, 90, 92? Wait, no. Yeah, 92. 92 cards, wow. Interesting. Stick card. Oh, wow. That's interesting. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's just, you know, it's like a way to give your collectibles a little more than just pick up sparkly object. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Your enemy. You touch the head of a jellyfish? Really, Legion? I don't think you've ever told me that story before. Is it like a run button? Oh, didn't mean to go into the notebook. Oops. That is the one thing I am noticing is a little weird, is the, uh... Wow, the, the frame rate definitely is dipping occasionally. Is the, uh, loading screens. That part definitely feels a little wonky. Helen Moore's Secret, the Energy of Champions. The champ champies, the champion energy. Okay. Hmm. Oh, is that a card? Hey! Carlos Luis Martin. Nice. Apparently somebody had a romantic date up here. I do have a Switch. I never play it music, but I do own one, yeah? Really? Oh, it's like, can I not fit through that gap? I also notice that there's a little bit of delay. Like, it's hard to, it's hard to see exactly, but if you notice, like, see how it takes a second for the character to start walking? Like, I'm... Pressing it, now he walks. Pressing it, now he walks. It's like a weird, like, almost like a, almost like startup of tank controls to a degree. That's a little strange. I do wish there was a run button. Was that another card up there? Seriously, three cards up here? What, what the heck? Didn't expect there'd be three cards up here. It's really bizarre, actually. You know, that's actually a fair point, Stock, and it's a fair point. Fair point. I guess the same reason that the arms and legs are shaped, you know, humanoid is humanoid esque. Metopia? I don't know much about that game. I've heard of it before. Can I not walk up here? No? Guess I can't. Oh my gosh, the controls are so wonky, man. It's hard to explain, but like, it's just wonky. You haven't played it? Okay, well, I don't think there's anything else up here. Let's do one more quick little glance around. Yeah, I see what you're saying about the poster. Like, yeah. Is that a dog? I don't know if that's a dog or another animal. I mean, same reason there's a ladder there, I guess, just to make the world quote-unquote realistic. But yeah, I mean, it's also maybe something I come back to later. I mean, this may not have even been a place I was supposed to come to yet, but yeah, I can't. There's no prompt interact. Hitting A, B doesn't do anything. 
Y doesn't do anything, X doesn't do anything, so I don't think I can do anything there, at least not right now. Really, Lazarus? Does that cause any, like, health problems or anything? Let's see if we can walk in and talk to him now, if they're still going to shush me away. Uh, I better leave these two alone. Well, that answers that question. That answers that question. I have to say, the, I don't know if the guy's voice suits him perfectly either. Alright, so this is the gym where it happened, I guess, right? Winning isn't everything. Wanting to win is. Oh, okay, I like that. I like that. Pretty normal. So it looks like we can leave. Of course. These tank-like controls are going to be a little annoying. I can tell you that right now. Lead with speed, follow with power. And I was like, punch it? Oh my gosh. I once shredded a bag like that, just out of pure rage. Yeah, I definitely did. I'm not going to do it now, of course, because, <laughs> you know, I don't want to rough up the place. On the surface, it seems dry, but there's no dust, and it's damp under... Clue notifications. All collected clues will be stored in Black Sad's mind. A notification will pop up. Once you have enough clues, you'll be able to piece them together to make crucial deductions. Oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, it could have fallen the day Dunn died. Interesting. Not, not unusual? Okay. Why do the footprints, hmm. or who do the footprints belong to? They walked that way. If you want a box, train. If you want to win, train harder. Why can I even interact with that? It's weird. I didn't say they were a detriment. I was just asking if there were any. Like, I don't know how that works. I mean, I don't, didn't know if there was anything like to be concerned about. Another card. Apparently, these are these are plentiful. These are plentiful. Testing its durability. Yeah. Unconvincingly, night. I I know him from IRL Magic. The harder you bang, the muckier you get. Okay. Words of wisdom from the toilet stall. Farting is the key to success. <laughs> no dung, no glory. What? I'm so confused. Another card, I'll take it. Lucho San Martin. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Try to try to look at the uh can I zoom in here? No. Okay. It's like just slightly laggy, man. Is that just blatant racism? Yeah, I think so, Lazarus. Hmm, locked. But a true detective never leaves home without his... Sometimes even the most experienced detective has to go home to get his lockpicks. Uh, not yet. Okay, so there's racism. Uh, huh. The racist brain is so full of hatred that there's no space for trifles such as common sense or, say, spelling. But this most cultured writer spotted the error and attempted to correct it. Not sure what to make of the outcome. Smudged racial slur painted on Yell's locker. 
Interesting. Okay. I can't seem to go into the shower area. Hydrate. Sounds like a good idea, Legion. Sounds like a good idea. How's everybody's uh, last few days been? I took a day off from streaming there on Wednesday. Had a pretty bad work week overall. But I'm uh, feeling pretty good today. Got some groceries today. Got it delivered. So, pretty good day overall. Success is dependent... Wait, what? The subtitles were different! Success is dependent on effort. And then what did it say? The subtitle says... Well, subtitle apparently doesn't work now. The subtitle said something different, though. Another card. So the footprints go this way. No pain, no gain. No guts, no glory. I did see your pink hair, actually, on Facebook. It looks like the footsteps go this way. So before we go this way, let's finish exploring this area. The harder you train, the luckier you get. Grimface, Bill Peterson, Bobby Yell should make it tough for Mac, Little Mac. I did see a card there. I thought so. Solos? I can't seem to look at anything up on the stage. Or the ring, I guess. Alright, well, I went full circle in here, literally. Can't go up. Oh, I can. Okay. So that's where it happened. What leads a man to do something like this? Life's already dealt me a fair share of blows, but... It's a pretty high road. I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up. Something just doesn't add up. Dun, dun, dun. There's something fishy. Hmm. 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 Okay. I don't see anything else that I can interact in here, so we'll follow the footsteps for now. Seven unique character driven stories. I'm already interested. Aha, I was like, there has to be something around here, right? Wait, wasn't there a. Yeah. There we go. Eligio Gonzalez. Alright. So at least the trash. Hey, HJ, thanks for the host there, friend. Another card. Dear goodness, we're finding these cards like crazy. What's happening to the night, HJ? I, th I think you'll like the, uh, the premise of this game, since you like story games. Alright, somebody fill HJ in on what she's missed so far. Oh my gosh, a legless, cheap, homeless character good morning sir I said good morning to you John Blackside private eye would you mind if I ask you a couple of questions not at all proceed your honor um were you here two days ago were you here on Sunday afternoon yes indeed kind prince I came down to watch TV after having run the New York City Marathon in record 
time. <coughs> uh, don't think it's appropriate to say I'm sorry about your condition, so I'll just say, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Well, just like life, that was short. <laughs> but then again, all things short fit me like a sock. <laughs> It just so happens that you can, apple of my eye, do this old man a favor and bring him some sustenance. Uh, all right. Hmm, okay, so I guess we need to get him some food. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Lazarus summed it up. And we also got in a fight with a rhino, like, uh, I think it was Legion said there. And we, uh, took a bribe. That's the big thing that happened. We had a choice very early where uh, basically a, a, a rhino guy, he I can't remember his name, was cheating on his wife. Uh, and we were the private investigator that was hired by his wife. He offered to pay us ten times more to lie about it and cover it up for him. Um, and we took the bribe. So that's where we're at. Human force selective breeding. You know, maybe stalking, who knows? What is that? Hmm. Discourse on inequality. Okay. Homeless, homeless goat has a lot of high level books, it seems. Okay, where does this lead? Go, can't go up. Can't go up, it doesn't seem. Guess, HJ? Um, probably a uh, tarantula. Oh, almost missed a card. Below. <laughs> Literally. Okay. It actually is a pretty lengthy corridor. Oh, can I not go this way at all? I guess it's just trash. Okay, I guess it's just trash. Can't go in this mysterious red door. So this will be to the street. So the person person that was in the boxing ring could have easily gone this way. Joe Dunn's boxing gym. A microscopic... During the war? That's odd. 1943 during the war? Like, that... 1943, was that... Was that World War... That wasn't like World War II, was it? Okay, so we got an eye of how it of the layout of everything here. Is that a pigeon? Oh, that's a sack. It looked like a bird. Tardigrades. I actually heard that word before. You're a water bear. I mean, it looked like you were on Facebook. All right, let's go ahead and go back out here. I like how the camera just didn't didn't follow at all this time. So now it's like awkward. Uh, okay, I guess I can't go back the way I came. I don't know if the camera just bugged or what just happened. That was really weird. Let's see if it does that again. There we go. That was weird. The camera, like, just got horribly stuck. 1773 was when the Boston Tea Party happened. So, what else is down this way? Oh, there's a card. Carl. Sausage Party? I, I never never watched it, but I've heard of that. I, I remember that movie. A broken TV. 
I might just be the last person in New York without a TV. I should buy one. I intend to stay that way. Uh, I have extra money. I should buy one. Maybe that's how I should spend the bribe money. See? So that was a very, very, very small... Like, the decision probably made that slightly differently. Because if I didn't take the bribe, I probably would have said something like, but I don't have the money for that. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> on Australia? No, not quite. Hey, Shorty, welcome in. Good to see you tonight. What's going on, friend? Yeah, so I definitely cannot go in there. Okay. So, we have now gathered information that there's a back alley and there were white footprints. From, like, the paint stuff. Um, so we need to go back and get our lock picks and come back here to pick the guy's locker. Closed due to the sudden and unexpected death of Joseph R. Dunn. A private service for family and friends will be held at St. Fergus Church on October 14th, 6 p.m. Okay. That could be relevant. Could be relevant. What's going on, Igor? Good to see you tonight. Welcome in. What's happening, Igor? What's going on in the Igor world? A Russian stream? Nah, not quite, not quite. You want to be a monkey? Oh, oops. Mary Purnell, the person who found Dunn's body, works a block away from the gym. I'm certain she can give me the kind of information that I... Hey! Watch where you're going, you jerk! Did I jail? You're looking for trouble, moron! Um... You watch it. You better watch it. Go to hell, man! You better not show your face around here. <laughs> A human? No, not you two, Igor. Not you two. Come on. Wait, what happened to Igor? Now, sorry if I missed you when you first came in there. I apologize, Igor. Okay, these loading screens. I did not mean to go to the diner for the record. That was not on purpose. I kind of don't like how you can accidentally walk out of the, the scene area without like pressing a button to confirm it. When is movie night? Good question. And there you go. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Come back soon. Welcome to Sam's Diner. What can I get for you? <laughs> what can I get Black for you? Blackside, private eye. I work for Sonia Dunn. I need to ask you some questions about Joe Dunn. Um, sure. But I'm working right now. <laughs> Maybe later? Sneezing? Need your help to find Yell. I don't see any customers. Um, I don't see any customers. I only see one customer sitting at the counter. And he's asking for your cooperation. I don't know if that's a deer. All right. Okay, we got a second, we got a second to, to make a decision here of what we want to say. Um... Stream Team, yeah. So the original reason at the Stream Team HJ is it was a partnership between me, Druid, Bront, um, and it was supposed to grow from there, and then it ended up just basically being my server. Uh, Druid still used it as his too, but that's where the name came from originally. Yeah, I don't think it's a cat. I think more of, more of like a... Uh, I, don't know what, I don't know what animal that is, actually. Uh, See, so you just leave immediately. Uh, what can you tell me about Sonya Dunn, Joe Dunn, or can I have a hamburger? You know what? Can I have a hamburger? Can I have a hamburger, please? Oh, sure. Regular or cheese? Definitely regular. I don't want no stinking cheese. Regular. That'll do. Mm-hmm. You want fries? A drink? No, that's it. Okay. Is that for here or to go, then? To go, please. Yeah. One burger to go, Sam. Okay. 
Ok Tutorial Cat senses Next to the icon of each cat sense Hearing, sight, and smell A counter will show the number of stimuli That can be perceived in that particular moment To help The help bar shows related controls Ok, wow, ok This is unexpected Yeah, I don't eat cheese Oh, so it's like pausing time to like... Huh? Pies by the slice or whole? I want a whole pie. You know, I actually bought a really good cheesecake. I went ahead and just went all out and got the uh, Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. What am I doing right now? Oh... That's interesting. Yeah, but people, people like can easily interchange that. So I, I get, like, I think I think you would usually ask, "Do you want cheese?" Yeah. Handwriting. One hamburger to go. Handwriting is nice and neat. Could be relevant. Nice and neat handwriting. What well, can I smell her? Does she have on perfume or something? Smells like cinnamon. No. Cinnamon and burgers. Okay. Your neck, ma'am. It smells a little bit like cinnamon and burgers. Would that seduce you, H.J.? I mean, I mean, hey. It's a cat smell cat world, okay? Your burger is ready. Mm. Oh, I got him the food? Mm. I didn't realize I was doing that. <laughs> hey, Jack, welcome in. <clears throat> All right, I'll let you enjoy your meal. Four people used the back door that very same night. Four what? people. Well, I might be blind as a bat, but as you can certainly see, I have two wonderfully functional ears. I don't know, a little droopy. <laughs> <coughs> very kind of you. Shame it didn't have any cheese, though. <laughs> Four people used the back door two days ago? Yeah, that's right. <coughs> uh, tell me about the first person. Who was the first person to use the back door? Someone big. Unlocked the door, stepped inside, <laughs> then came right back out. Someone stood at the door. Second person. Who was the second person to use the back door? man, just a few minutes after the first person. He came back out muttering, ungrateful bastard. Then, he threw something in the trash and walked back in. Oh, no, wait. Before that, he gave me a coin. A coin? I mean, do I look like I need spare change? Huh? I mean, I'm staying at the Million Star Hotel, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we gotta go search the dumpster. Um, I just never have cared for cheese, Shorty. I like mozzarella, but that's about it. Other cheeses, I just don't like the taste. I don't like. I don't like how it makes things like, like it just makes it just has that like bitter, milky taste that it just adds to stuff. So, what's going on, Jack? The third person. Who was the third person to use the back door? Judging by the quiet footsteps, quiet. I'd say it was someone small. I'd say it was 
about 30 minutes after the second person came out. Whoever it was threw something in the trash and stood in front of me for a moment. Then I heard a click. And finally, I heard trailing laughter in that direction. Who was the fourth person to use the back door? Someone big. I recall heavy breathing. So the first the person left in a hurry, running in that direction. <laughs> Interesting, okay. <laughs> You seem saner than before. Chest expander in the cart. Thanks. Uh, chest expander? There's a chest expander in your cart. A what expander? A thingamajig with three springs. Oh, the thingamajig with springs. Oh, I, I got it from the trash back there. Uh, let's smell him. So there's four things I can see. Nothing I can smell. Weird how... Oh, what? I wonder what it feels like to live without legs. Would I manage? Okay, so now there's three more. Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. A punching ball? That's a weird way to say that. You don't like Back to the Future? This is speculation, Your Honor? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Smell his flabby neck? I wish I could. Maybe, H.J., maybe. Blind and legless. How does he get by? That's a fair question. Could he have been a train conductor? It's interesting how this works. I can only let you zoom in at certain places. Um, paint can. Where did you get that paint can? In the trash can in the back. A paint can and a thingamajig with springs. What a night. Yeah, exactly, Lazarus. Um, you seem saner. You were acting a bit strange before, but now you seem fine. Why is that? Hey, you got great vision, sense of smell, and hearing. Why is that? Well, I'm a cat. Well, I'm a goat. Greatest of all time. That's all for now. Thanks. So we got some information. Chest expander, paint can that was beaten up. These things could be relevant for, for later. Just make sure I can't do anything else with this guy. You own goats, this is true. Do you remember anything else about the day you found the thingamajig with the springs and the paint can? Yeah, uh, no. <coughs> wait, 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 yeah. Well, no, now that I think of it, uh, no. Hey, pal, how about thinking a good-looking goat with a cigarette? <coughs> <coughs> That is a nasty cough you got there. I don't think that's a good idea. You've got one nasty cough. Oh, come on. You know, cigarettes have lots of very healthy properties. Oh, come on. It's just a smoke, lady. Fair enough. He helped me out. Okay. You're right. <laughs> he better not die from this one cigarette. Yeah, you think you're not responsible for my pathetic state. Think you're not 
to blame. It's the government that shipped me off to war. They shipped me off too. Oh, right. So then you know what it's like to kill too. Well then another sad hobo shouldn't be a problem for you, Professor. Um... Yeah, I've killed. Yeah, I killed people. And yet, you don't want to help me die. Wait, wait, but... Uh, that's not what I wanted to say. Oh, well, you know we goats tend to jump from one thing to another. <laughs> the government paid for everything. Army fatigues, rations, weapons... Lodging, hookers, drugs. Do you know where that money comes from? <laughs> taxes! Your taxes, my dear. He's friend. not wrong. You help them cut my legs. <laughs> they declare war. War. Every chance they get so that the weapon industry that finances their campaigns get gets richer and, and richer and richer and that's how we finance their wars so the slightest connection with corruption turns us into accomplices unless one manages to keep at arm's length <sighs> That is what I did, my loyal disciple, at the Million Star Hotel. <laughs> so, do you like your master, the great? Hey, what's your name? You never told me... I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Hey, Emo Sheepy, welcome in. What's happening? Yeah, at least we got quite a bit of information from him. Alright, so is there anything else in the trash can? Oh, no, I guess he already got everything out of the trash can, so we actually can't search it, which is kind of weird. Um, so I still need to go back to my house and get the lock picks and I still need to go back to the diner and talk to the girl so hold on um, I did not mean to go into this menu I'm in the wrong menu pine eaters who do the footprints at the gym belong to someone threw a paint can in the trash there's something fishy there's a paint stain on the gym floor racial slur Oh, you connect it to another piece. Okay, so maybe we can connect her handwriting and the racial slur. Wait, did that work? No, it didn't work. Okay, interesting. You're already a sheep? Yeah, Batman is a cat. Yeah, for real. That was pretty cool, actually. I like that. How do I, uh... This is what I want to look at. Okay. I'm loving this game so far. Um, okay. So Eugene... So this this is the first guy I showed. This is what you missed. So this is Eugene Colbert, or whatever. So he was the one that confronted us in our office, you know, pulled out a gun on us, and then we took a bribe from him. Um, Jake is our friend who is with that girl. A bodyguard or something, it seems. Uh, Bobby's the one who's missing. Um, who is a boxer. A boxer that's a boxer. Um, Al was another boxer. Sonya is the girl who hired us. Which is the guy who committed suicide's daughter. Um, Joe is the one who was found dead. And then Mary is the girl at the bar. Okay. Whew. I mean, I wouldn't... I mean, that's that's entirely different, Legion. That's like saying, is is Star Wars better than Rugrats? I mean... It's not a better children's comedy show, but it's a better, you know, sci-fi action movie. 
apples and oranges kind of thing. Hey, Captain Hooch! What's going on, friend? This this game, this might be something up your alley, Hooch. This is a uh, detective noir um, mystery solving uh, adventure game. So something along the lines of maybe like a bit of a telltale game. There was a card there. I was like, there has to be something in that trash can. Nice. Oh, wait, can I look at this? I cannot. Okay. So what is down this way? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I can't even walk this way, apparently. No, excuse me, sir. Not your style, though? Oh, okay. Because he was scared? Is this my car? Go to the office to get our lockpicks. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and go get our lockpicks. I'm curious if time is a factor. Like, is me driving to get my lockpicks going to pass time in the world and things are going to change? You know, do I need to be, like, managing that? I'm curious if that's an aspect in this game or not. Very curious about that. Uh, but yes, Hooch, that would basically be an accurate uh, description, I think. Definitely has some L.A. Noir vibes, except less extreme facial expressions. By the way, how did everybody feel about the thumbnail that I made for YouTube for this? I was actually pretty proud of it. No one's there. Seven hmm. days. I hope there wasn't a client. Although probability would suggest a cold call. Or, even worse, the War Veterans Therapy Group. Hmm. So we got a little bit of backstory on Black I was Sabbath. pretty sure I left the lockpicks on the table. But has somebody been in my office? Bearded Holmes, ha ha ha. Whiskey. Don't mind if I do. Smells good. Tasted even better the day Smirnoff brought it. In exchange for a favor. Smirnoff. A favor no cop should ever be paid for. So Smirnoff is the name of like a character that's funny, and they brought alcohol. I do like how it's a little on the nose, but I like that. I like that. I like that. Just okay, Legion thinks, for shutting me down. Police Commissioner Smirnoff smoked that cigarette. Oh, he's the police commissioner. Judging by the way he put it out, he was pretty nervous. Okay, interesting. Now we, we've been introduced to a new character now. Ah, look at that, a card. I love it. This game rewards you for just, like, basic things. I love it. Who is that? Am I having war flashbacks? It's gonna be like the meme. Hey, uh, Voidling, welcome on the YouTube side. How's it going? Oh, that's cool. So I can actually look out my window. Um, a visiting friend once told me that New York City smells like a giant bonfire. I'd say the smell is rubbed off on me. Giant bonfire. These Morleys are the best? Oh, Morley's like a cigarette, right? New York Warriors star. It's out of this world, dude! All right. Say what, Voidling? Nothing about the game, please. Another card. These cards are literally everywhere. Literally, literally everywhere. What's going on? 
Let's take a look and just see how many we've gotten now. We Literally, there's so many cards. There's almost too many cards. It's like, here's a collectible, and here's one, and here's one, and here's one. Um, interesting how that like goes together, though. It's pretty cool, actually. It's like a little scrapbook almost kind of thing. Yeah, they're, apparently they're changing that. It's weird. All about the money. All right. What is this statue thing? What did you do to earn the admiration of a millinery culture, distant cousin? My cousin's statue? What if the only thing that keeps you going is the very thing that won't let you move on? Oh, I must have a, a love interest. I want to think about it. I want to remember it's too soon to say goodbye. She wouldn't hear me anyway. Oh, so she died. So it must have been like my wife or girlfriend, a family member that died. Okay. So Natalia is our family member. Interesting. Uh, your birthday, HJ. That's my guess. Right, can I interact with anything else? Doesn't look like it. Sometimes... I also use it to type out reports that nobody reads and invoices that nobody pays. I also use it to bash rhinos in the head occasionally. Oh, I can call people? Donna Blacksad? Who is that? Let's call Donna Blacksad. Four digit numbers. Hello? Hi, Ray. Uh, hi. Who are you? Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so. So, so, uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, I'm a detective. That means I'm a detective. No way. My Uncle John is a real detective. And he's way Uncle John. Than you. You got me, Ray. Congrats. What did I win? Hmm. What do you want? I want... I want a gun! Must be from bang, America. Bang, bang! Bang, bang! Guns are dangerous or you earned it? Uh, you earned it, kid! Alright. You've earned it. How about a toy gun? Hey Donna, um, I'm fine, thanks. Generic response. Everything's fine. Don't you worry about me. I do worry about you, especially when you tell me not to. <laughs> yeah, can't argue with that. Hey, we're kind of in a hurry. Ray's got a dentist appointment. I'll call you soon, okay? I'm really sorry. Sure. Ear up One here. One last thing. Phone down Ray, here. Hurry up. We have to go. Uh, one last thing. Um, have you heard from Dad? Have you heard from Dad lately? Not since his last letter. Same old, same old. Last okay. letter? Now I really have to go. Bye, John. Bye, Uncle John. Bye, Uncle John. Just slams it down. That was random, but kind of cool. Um, what's in here? I drink like every other detective. I pretend to drink. I pretend to drink. Here's a tip for aspiring detectives. Pretend that booze is an issue. Clients love stereotypes. The truth? I used tequila to clean my lockpicks. In fact, I just finished cleaning them when that rhino walked in. Maybe we knocked them down during the fight. Yeah, we don't talk about that, Legion. Never again. The Mrs. Colbert case. Good old Wheatley oh. did a fine job with these pictures. 
Maybe I should give him a call. I can't He'll be censor it. to know just how much this guy's going to pay us to keep quiet. I'm sorry, friends. Uh, disclaimer. Uh, game may contain rhino buttocks. I wonder if that rhino would ever have the nerve to use it. Uh, I, I blocked that from my memory, Legion. <laughs> Very specific warning. Alright, let's see who else we can call here. But that does sound like something that you would be into. Mrs. Colbert? That's the... Oh, that's the woman that I did that was that hired me, so I could call her. That's interesting. I wonder how... Oh, I need to call her and tell her that her husband wasn't cheating on her. Um, What does weekly mean? I'm not sure what that means. What does it mean to call a weekly? Is that like a... Like a messaging, answering machine kind of thing or something? Hold it up to your ear. Weekly speaking, the legend of what's news. Hey, Weekly, this is... John, did you get my pictures? Oh, yes, and Weekly is the person. That rhinoceros has one big horn, huh? Uh... And the girl, I... Damn, you want me to find out her name? Please, pretty please. No, Weekly, look. Uh... The rhino paid me a visit. The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sand. Half the money is yours. Yeehaw! Okay, let's, let's just change the subject. Hey, I heard something weird is going on at this gym. What was the name? Dunn's Gym. Didn't you have a pal down there? Can I talk to him? I heard a woman's running it now. A boxing gym. Now, that's what I call news. Uh, not right now. I'm doing an investigation. Actually, I'm working on a case for the gym owner. But, you're putting me on the spot here. Let me settle into things before you do anything, will you? All right, but make it quick. See ya. Give the inside scoop about the gym. Okay, so weekly is our... Not partner, but I guess our... He's our Peter Parker if we're, uh... If we're, uh... Demanding pictures of Spider-Man. Um, sure. Let's go ahead and call Mr. Smirnov. And not animals, right? Yeah, it's interesting, HJ. Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Black like Sad, is that you? Uh, yeah, it's me. You got me. How's everything, Chief? Oh, I'm fine, thanks for asking. Too much work as usual. As for Joe Dunn, he hanged himself in the story. I'm too busy, John. I can't afford to put a single man on the case. Why are you asking? I'm bound by client detective privileges. His daughter hired me. It's none of your business. I'm doing it for fun. Uh. Joe Dunn's daughter hired me. But I still don't get it. Any signs of foul play? Um. Bobby Yell disappeared. Dunn had no reason to kill himself. Uh. Bobby Yell disappeared the same day. His pupil. Bobby Yale. No one's seen him since Dunn hanged himself. Well, his coach killed himself a few weeks before his big fight. Must be drowning his bad luck in booze in some gutter somewhere. So, are you gonna help me? I wish I could, John. Anyway, I'm afraid I don't have anything useful to share. And it seems like you don't either. But, if you do find something, give me a call. Um... For all time's sake. We've been friends for a long time. Okay, so it seems like I have a friendly, but not like best friends kind of deal. That does look like Batman from this angle, doesn't it? Doesn't that look like Batman's head? Whoa! Out of nowhere, Hamlet! 
coming in here with a big moment. A big freaking moment. Hamlet coming in with a tier one sub for 24 months. Two years. Two years. That's insane, Hamlet. I don't even feel like I've known you two years. This is insane. This deserves a little moment of celebration, friends. Everybody, thank you so much, Hamlet, for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the stream so very much. You have been beyond generous with subs, with bits, with everything in between, Hamlet. You are awesome. It's so good to see you back tonight, first of all. And thank you very much for dropping that support. Everybody, you already did it. But if you haven't already, get some wholesomes, get some hearts, get some support in the chat. Thank you very much, Hamlet. You are well deserving of the of the wholesomes because you are a huge part of our community. And uh, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for being awesome. And thanks again for dropping that sub tonight. Thank you so much, Hamlet. You are amazing, my friend. You are amazing. An old joke. Hey, Destroyer, welcome in. Good to see you tonight. Two and a half years. I know, Hamlet. It freaks me out. Two and a half years. It's crazy. It's crazy. Hey, Katie's here. Good to see you, Katie. Uh, oh, excuse me. Glad you made it back out to the stream tonight, too. Uh, what's happening for everybody? What's happening, Katie? What's happening, Destroyer? What's happening, Hamlet? We're playing Black Sad. Playing Black Sad. This is a really interesting detective game. I'm really enjoying it so far. We are uh, kind of in the early stages, so you haven't missed too much. But we are, uh, we're just kind of, you know, getting our bearings, meeting characters, getting some backstory, having a good old time. That's crazy, Lee. That's crazy. Awesome. Well, thanks again for stopping in tonight, uh, Hamlet uh, and Katie. You're sewing and listening, just chilling. Awesome. I appreciate you lurking, Katie. Appreciate you being here and dropping that. Lurks definitely help, uh, definitely help support the channel, and I appreciate that. Uh, so once again, I gotta get some. I gotta get some emotes in the chat too. Thank you again, Hamlet, for being awesome and dropping two years of support. I wish I had like a. Wish I had like a special award to give you or something. Like two years, you deserve like, you deserve like a, you deserve like a piece of merch or something. But I, I don't. I don't really have anything like that. You know, I have considered. And let me know your thoughts on this, friends. Uh, I've seen other streamers do it. I've thought about getting some stickers made. Uh, some streamer stickers, so it'd be like, uh, it'd be something that'd be pretty easy to mail. I don't know how much it would cost to get them made. Maybe of emotes, maybe of, I don't know, maybe of different things. I don't know what else I'll do other than emotes, but maybe some quotes or something as stickers. I don't know exactly what the options would be, but, um, uh, maybe an, ex oh, you know, it'd be cool to get an exclamation funk, uh, uh, sticker. That'd be pretty cool, right? Like a little, little sticker that said that. Um, something like that. I don't know. Uh, I wish I had something like that to give you, Hamlet. But you, whenever I do come out with something like that, you'll get it. You'll get something, Hamlet, because you are by far one of the most, well, the most supportive monetary. I'm burping uncontrollably right now, friends. You are by far the most supportive monetarily of anybody, and I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Sticker of my face, just my actual face, just like on a sticker. Yeah, I could do that. Um, I gotta pee really bad, friends. So I'm gonna brb. Um, so everybody take a drink of water, go take your pee break, meet back here in 30 seconds, I'll be waiting. Alright, I have returned, friends. I have returned. 
All right, we are going to go ahead and jump right back into the game here. A sticker of my face. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> I whined about it all night. No, I don't, I don't know anything about that. I think you're making that part up. <laughs> That's funny, Legion. All right, who else can we call here? Commissioner again? Sure, let's just call him back. Why'd you hang up on you me? You told me to call back if I had any oh, okay, I can't. on this case. I was hoping. Which I was don't. hoping. It ruined your whole night? Wait, what? How did it ruin your night, Hamlin? Uh, let's go ahead and call Mrs. Colbert and turn in this first case. There we go. Did it lag for a sec? Hello? Black's out here. Please don't tell me. My husband... Uh, okay. The, oh, man, I wish I had more time to think about this one. You have nothing to worry about, Mrs. Colbert. Do me a favor and enjoy your family. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Mr. Blacks. I kept my word and lied to the rhinoceros's wife. I wish I had more time to think about that one. I would have liked to have paused the game and discussed it with everybody. But, uh... All right, we kept up our end of the, of the bargain. So we lied to the wife to protect the family. Which, to be fair, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe the rhino had a moment of weakness. You know, maybe we're, maybe tell the truth would ruin a perfectly good family. And, you know, maybe it's up to him to come out and come clean about it himself at some point. Not our job to interfere in that. So, we can, we can justify it either way. We can justify it. Raven, good to see you tonight. Question of the day, you say you want to be a raven. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, why do you like Raven specifically, out of curiosity? Oh, it's our two-year anniversary! Speaking of two years, look at that! Hamlet came in here with a two-year sub, and apparently today is your two-year followversary, Raven. That's awesome! Well, thank you very much for being here, Raven, as well. You know what? You deserve some wholesomes for that, too. It's not a sub, but you still deserve some wholesomes. So, thanks again for being here and being awesome for two years of following. That's awesome! That is so cool that it's our followversary today, uh, Raven. So it was May 21st, 22nd of 2019. That's crazy it's been that long, Raven. It's crazy. It's crazy. You've only been following... Oh, you reset your follow at some point, I guess, Hamlet, unfortunately. Wait, you were sub for a year before you... F oh, no, you were... That's a month difference. Okay, yeah. You were sub for like a month before you followed. I remember, I remember, I remember. Uh, no, I think she actually... Uh, she actually did just... Uh, just uh, sub first, weirdly enough. Going on two years for emo as well. It's crazy. When I streamed every Jackbox. Yep, that was a good day. That was a good day. Twas a good day. Anything else out here? No, okay. It's crazy. Crazy to think it's been, it's been years like it has. Yep. That's where I left my lockpicks. Maid found her dead this morning. Oh, that's the Natalia. Oh, wait. Natalia. So that must be the person that's close to us in some way. It's too soon to say goodbye. I will say this game does a decent job. I'm not going to say a great job, but a decent job of conveying basic emotions by the facial expressions and stuff. Uh, you're back from your anime music grind? Nice. You would be a New Zealand bird, a twee? I don't think I've heard of a twee. That sounds interesting, cuzzy. Because Ken gave you your first sub? Gotcha, Hamlet. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Good to see you back, cuzzy. The lore and mythos of ravens. Okay. Why, does he not normally support stuff like that, Legion? Bookkeeping is not my strong suit. I'm good with expenses. It's the income I don't get. Ha ha ha. That's why we took the bribe, I guess. Um, alright. Anything else we can look at here? I did the window. I did the paintings. Anything on the bookshelf? Alright, let's look for the uh, lockpicks. A Tui, yeah. A Tui or a Twee. A black New Zealand honey eater. 
A patch of white feathers on each side of the throat. Tamed as a pet. That's interesting. Just glad you found something that you would support. That's awesome, Legion. I appreciate that. Still need to get your brother in here, though, and play with us some night for Jackbox. <coughs> you have one living next to you? That's pretty cool. A Tui. So I can't reach the lockpicks? <coughs> and now the phone rings right when I start doing this, of course. <sighs> Most detectives feel safe with a gun in their pocket. Me, I prefer lockpicks. At least I know these little fellows won't backfire. In before he impels himself in the eye with one. Where the hell did you go, John? I thought you won the case. Uh, none of your business. I had to leave for a minute. Just doing my job. Uh, I had to leave for a minute. I had to run an errand, but I'll be back in no time. You made a crappy impression, and now Sonia has second thoughts about you. <laughs> that was that did not seem to match what was said. <laughs> she has she has second thoughts about you. <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. What's this game about? All right, somebody catch Cuzzy up. Somebody catch Cuzzy up. Yeah, we did see a rhino booty, that's true. Where was Ghost for the rhino booty? Hey, Hamlet. Thanks for the 41 bits. You're annoyed with the emo choices for bits? Wait, what? I'm confused now. Oh, 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 you mean like the salty one. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. You have friends waiting to play. You just popped in for the fall anniversary. That's awesome, Ray. Well, thanks again for dropping in. Uh, enjoy whatever games you're playing with your friends. Stay wholesome, and thanks again for being part of our community here, Raven. Always glad to have you along for the ride. Oh, that's a good question for Jungle. How many Rhino Butts has Jungle seen? Jungle's definitely seen a share of Rhino Butts, I, I imagine. Brings you up to an even an even number there, Hamlet. That's awesome. That's interesting. So so that's what I was asking before. Was me leaving and like doing stuff going to in affect the story? And it looks like it does to a degree. Um, so that's interesting. What happens if I just don't click something here? It just doesn't do anything. Okay. Alright, well, I think we've done everything here, so we're gonna go ahead and leave. Not human rhino Welcome hybrid. Back. I wish I'd never found my lockpicks. Maybe I wouldn't have gone back to the gym. All hell was about to break loose. Oh, interesting. Got some narration there. Yeah, it, this, is, this is a mystery detective game. Um, there's a couple different mini plot lines and then a major plot line. Um, the major plot line is that we're solving a an apparent suicide, which we think there's some foul play involved, um, with the owner of this boxing gym. Um, at the same time, the premier boxer disappeared the same day, and then there's been some other characters and some smaller stories in there as well. Wait, so where am I going? Bobby Yale's place was on the way, so I decided to drop by. Lock picks in hand. Oh, okay. The gym could wait. So I guess I'm going to his place now. A little weird how that works. Like, it doesn't exactly let me go where I want. It kind of, like, forces you to go certain places. For better or worse. Interesting. I don't, I really don't know anything about Zootopia, honestly. Sonya and Jake had already searched the place to no avail. Am I going to lockpick my way in? Wow, okay. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's cool. I like how that works. But a good detective would have better luck. I know it might not seem like it, but... <gasps> oh! 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 When someone hits you like that, you know you're onto something. It's only fair to show some gratitude. Well, well, well. Long time no see. My wife just called me. I owe you one. Now leave before my partner. 
Damn cat. Well done, Colbert. Now. <laughs> How about this? For every wrong answer, I'm gonna give it to you with this club. Deal? Uh, you don't know how to use that. Can't we just talk it out? Calm down, will you? Um, can't we just talk it out? Hey, couldn't we just talk it out? Wrong answer. Welcome in, Ghost. Good to see you. First, well, second question. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, I can go in my cat sense mode. So there's two things I can look at here. I'm getting ready to sneeze. <coughs> I just died. I just died. Oh. Robin Hood? A shamrock? Is he Irish? It's more like a casino thing to me than anything about heritage, buddy. Does he have an injured eye? It should start to swell any moment now. Oh, it's where I slapped him. Okay. Okay, well, that's all I have on my senses, apparently. Seriously. What the hell are you doing here? Um, are you Irish? Or are you going to hit me? I'm looking for Bobby Vale. Um, I'm looking for Bobby Vale. I'm a private eye. Sonia Dunn hired me to find Bobby Yale. I hate detectives. Now, where were we? What the hell are you doing here? Um, I swear I'm a detective. Are you Irish? Um, I swear I'm a detective. I swear I'm a detective. And I swear I hate detectives. Maybe, Ghost. One more time. What the hell are you doing here? Um... So it really wants me to ask if he's Irish. Um, are you Irish? Are you of Irish descent? I've got an Irish boss, just like my friend Colbert here. I'm sure the name O'Leary rings a bell, right? O'Leary. Desmond O'Leary. If you live in New York City, you've certainly heard of the richest bookie in town. After everything that's happened, I was beginning to feel like this case was finally moving forward. Wrong answer! But I was wrong. The bop does not match the One force. One more time. What the hell are you doing here? Um, I know Colbert and his wife. Aren't you gonna hit me? Um... I'm a detective! For Christ's sake, I'm a detective! For Christ's sake, I hate detectives! One more time. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, so it really, it looks like this conversation really wants me to go a certain way. I could be quiet. I'm going to try to be quiet here. No answer? Wrong answer. <laughs> I was just curious. Now, where were we? What the hell are you doing here? All right. I know Colbert and his wife. Colbert and his wife. I know your friend Colbert. And his wife. Now he wants to insult you. All right, then. He's all yours. <sighs> all right. Now it's your turn. I'll call the boss. Okay, so he's an underling to the, to the yak guy. I want you to yell like I'm beating the crap out of you, okay? <laughs> Desmond... We caught some damn detective snooping around Bobby Yale's place. Yeah, hired by Dunn's daughter. Yeah, it's set in the 40s. Safe and sound? What do you mean exactly? Hmm. Oh, sure. Will do. Colbert, stop hitting him, you beast. <laughs> what a shame. 
We were just getting to know each other. <laughs> O'Leary's man guard yells apartment. Reminds you of your script? That's interesting. Needs more rotary phones. The Tyco game? I don't know if I would do that one, uh, Cuzzy. I don't I don't like doing non Steam games, with very few exceptions. That is my one complaint on this game, the loading screens are definitely lengthy. Definitely lengthy. I was wondering if my injuries, injuries were going to stay with me. Pokemon Crystal, yeah, that'd be a difficult one. So now it automatically takes me back into the gym. Okay, so, wait, is that something on the ground? Was that there before? Did I miss it? Sonya Dunn. Thank you, Mr. Blacksad. Does the postman always leave your mail on the floor? I don't know. I... I... What's wrong? It's... It's my mother's wedding ring. Uh, was it stolen? Had it been stolen? I don't know. My father wore it on his pinky finger after she died. Not always, apparently. Will you find out why? I'll try. But there's something else I'm worried about. This might have something to do with, uh... Dunn's murder and Bobby Bell's disappearance. Bobby Bell's disappearance Dunn's murder. Um, might have something to do with both. Your father's death. And Bobby Yale's disappearance. Oh, oh my, yes. It could be. I, I kind of like the cat sense thing. The cat sense thing is interesting. Manhattan's new boxing gym by former boxing legend The Quiet Lynx. He is a Lynx. Joe Dunn's gym. What the? What's wrong? Someone's taking pictures from the rooftop. Are you sure? I'll go take a look. What? How, how did he know that? The glare? Now, who's that rope for, Miss Dunn? Mm. Weekly. So this is their friend Weekly the Weasel? What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> hey, hey, look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> what is going on here? Don't change the subject, you sad little... Why don't we settle this over ice cream, huh, Jeff? Just like in the good old days. <laughs> How did you get up here? I don't want anyone to see you. Okay. Not sure what the point of any of that was. I mean, I guess it showed that she was talking with somebody, a walrus man. It seemed like they were in some type of heated discussion. The clues allow a new deduction. Uh-oh. The Cats movie, but better. I mean, that's... I mean, anything is better than that, right? Um, Everyone, even the most hapless of creatures has a gift. Something that makes them special. That makes them worth knowing. Foul-smelling Weekly is no exception. No matter what he does, it's impossible to stay mad at him for too long. That's a large ice cream. Mm -hmm. ah, this bourbon shake is delicious. Bourbon shake? Want to taste? You know I don't like milk. Your loss. So, Joe Dunn hangs himself and leaves his gym to his daughter, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. Why did he hang himself or he didn't kill himself? The question is why? The real question is, why did he commit suicide? Well, it's pretty obvious. Is that so? 
Care to shed some light on this, Sherlock? Oh, there's no need to look for reasons. People hang themselves every day out of sadness. And stuff like that. End of story. Corruption got the best of him. Heartbreak. He had money troubles. His daughter didn't love him. I don't know how we could make any of these assumptions. Uh, money troubles. Everyone knows that Jim had some serious money issues. Maybe he just got tired of fighting. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a hunch. I wouldn't bet my life on it. I've got other suspects, like O'Leary, the bookmaker. Desmond O'Leary? The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? America's sweetheart? Now that's a woman. And then there's the walrus. Who was that guy? Oh, come on. You've never heard of Frank Cassidy, the president of the Boxing Managers Association? Who's also Stone's agent, Bobby Yale's rival. Interesting. Hmm. He might know why Dunn killed himself, right? I decided to ask Weekly to investigate Cassidy. My reasons? Keep Weekly entertained, get real information on Cassidy. Um, I mean, we want to get real information. Weekly was right. Cassidy could have known why Dunn killed himself. Weekly had already proven to be nosy. The farther I kept him from the gym, the better. But with Weekly, you just never know what the best approach might be. Should I give him an order or a subtle suggestion? Um, he didn't follow our direct order before. Yeah, you might be right about Cassidy. But, hmm, it won't be easy to make him talk. He seems like a pretty tough cookie. Only a thorough and efficient detective could pull it off. But the problem is, I already got enough on my plate. You're a lucky man, John Black said. I don't follow. You just found the thorough detective you need. Oh, of course. What a great idea. How did I not think of you? Hey, don't sweat it. But you'll have to do me a favor. Tell Sonya Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's News wants an interview. Weekly, please. Well, if not, bye-bye, Cassidy. Um, I want him on my good side. I don't want to blackmail him. All right. I'll see what I can do. Great. That's settled, then. Counts as a subtle suggestion? Maybe. Maybe. I should just let him fall through the freaking window. Yeah, I mean, anytime you get anthropomorphic animals, I think that's that's a natural thing to happen, Ghost. Like my friend who wrote a book, which uh, ironically is about anthropomorphic detective. Uh, uh, you know, he, it's like the same thing. You know, he didn't intend it for that, like, subgenre, but that's where, you know, that, that group definitely enjoys the book. Course. So, was there really someone on the roof? Um, I don't want to. Uh, no, false alarm. <clears throat> no one. I must be seeing things. A hallucinating detective. This must be my lucky day. Huh. Okay. Natural. Oh, posture check. All right, everybody, sit up straight. Get a little wiggle in your back. Oh, all right. You wouldn't call it natural? The best animated anthropomorphic movie, you think so, H.J.? Why is that? I don't remember Robin Hood, Robin Hood being anthropomorphic or anything like that. Don't think I've ever, I don't even know what movie you're talking about, in all honesty. All right, what can we look at here? Oh, a card? I uh, don't mind if I do. Yeah, I can, I can. Good call, Jungle. I want to look around a little bit first, though. Another card. These cards are just just everywhere. I'd like to take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but my mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. So either she's lying, or we need to figure out what the password is. Dunn's wife's birthday does not open the safe. 
a happy family. We need the poo, what? So they do seem to be a happy family? I'm gonna look around in here a little bit more. Just to make sure. Ah, oh, there's something else here. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Cards with staff information on Dunn's table. I guess it's the same little thing. Little John. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, I don't know if that's always true, Kazi. I think I think with like anime characters and stuff, there's definitely some intentional stuff like that. Robin Hood as a fox? Yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeah, I did see that, Jack. It's uh, I did see that. Miss Dunn, can I run a couple of questions by you? If they help you find Yale, go ahead. Um, what was that walrus? Um, let's let's sniff her first. Let's give her a little sniff sniff first. <laughs> nice and steady heartbeat. Yeah, you can you can feel the rhythm from here. <laughs> Big bright eyes. Looks well rested. Neither she didn't mourn her father. Or she really knows how to work that makeup. Ooh, good observation. Cold as ice. It's true, she doesn't seem too upset. The only person who said she was upset was the rhino friend who's not here now. Or was he a rhino? No, a gorilla. Gorilla friend that was here. Um, so tell me about your relationship with your father. Did you and your father get along? Let's just say our relationship got better when I left for Sunny University. An eight hour drive from here. Meaning? I'll lay it out for you, Mr. Blacksad. My father, Joe Dunn, disappeared the day my mother died. He became a shell of himself. Joe Dunn, my legal guardian. A man who gave me food, shelter, clothing, and an education. And that's more than you need to know. So, what? I'm confused now. So... Okay, I gotta I got read back a little bit now. Oh, are you heading out, Jungle? Well, thanks so much for being here, friend. I do appreciate you hanging it out with us. Um, definitely, I uh, definitely like this game. So I definitely recommend if you are planning on playing it, definitely give it a run, Jungle. Uh, but stay wholesome, friend. I'll catch you in the next stream. Uh, we should be on Sunday. We'll be doing more of this, most likely. Um... What are these documents? What's in those papers you're going through? Red tape. Great. If you find something, please let me know. I thought you were the detective. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Dang. Sassy all of a sudden. Jake? Who is Jake? A glower? What are you talking about, stalking? The the cat thing is 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 to use my cat senses. Like just to smell stuff. What do you know about Jake? What can you tell me about Jake? I thought you were friends. Guess I was wrong. He and my father were friends. So don't go down that road. So Jake was my friend and her family friend. Um, do you get along with Bobby? Did you get along with Bobby Yale? <sighs> Not gonna say a word? Okay. Forget it. I wouldn't give a damn about him if it weren't for this stupid gym his stupid fight is supposed to save. Happy? So she seems pretty hostile talking about him. What about Mary? What do you think about Mary? The cleaning lady. Can't say. I, I barely know her. And I'm not one who's quick to judge other people. What's that walrus Cassidy doing here? 
glower. Oh, gotcha, Stalking, gotcha. Adventure Time, pretty good episode, nice. Oh, I enjoyed Adventure Time a little bit of it I've watched. I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone, the reigning champion. If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Okay. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? Okay. No. So we need to investigation work takes time. We need to do a couple I'm things sure here. Know. We need to do a couple things here. I do want to finish looking in this room really quick. Which apparently I can't look in the corner over here. Um Dunn's room had quite a view. A card up there? Let me just reach over there and pick it up. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh... Well, actually... I remember that fight. Back when Jake was coming up the ranks. So Jake is a boxer, too. Okay. Oh, did we know that yet? I don't know if we knew that Jake was a boxer, too. Looks like Dunn liked to measure his daughter and Bobby Yale each year. Sonia's measurements stop at 18, and there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. Good observation. So Bobby ran away for a couple years or something? That's an interesting thing. Can I have a conversation with her about that? Yeah, I'm a little confused on the relationships of everybody right now. Did you find anything interesting okay. in those papers? I'll see if I could question no. her about investigation that, work I takes time, as I'm sure you know. Okay, so let's look at our uh, um, notebook here. So, Sonia. Sonia's Dunn's daughter uh, hired us. Mother's wedding ring envelope, old safe opened, no longer working, majoring in business at university. So it doesn't tell us what we needed to know. Um, I, I wish I could see the specific relationships. Vanish the same day it done. She doesn't fight reigning champion stone. Okay. Um, okay, well this didn't give me the information. I was hoping it would give me a little more information on that. So, uh, so let's kind of recap here for a second then. So I think... That the point we got was that her mother died, and then her father left, and then she was adopted by Joe? I think is what we got at. Is that what everybody else picked up? Uh, I want to make sure I'm not missing something here. He alleged he confessed that they call him weekly because of how often he allegedly showers. <laughs> That's funny. Sounds like my roommate. Can't go there for now. America's sweetheart, huh? And then Frank Cassidy is the manager. Weekly's investigating him. Um. And then Bobby's missing, of course. Jake, we're gonna go learn about right now, I'm sure. And then this guy is in the mafia or whatever, and kind of has our back now since he since we owe him one, or he owes us one, I guess. Her father vanished, and that he changed. That's possible, ghost. That that could be what they said as well. Yeah, so maybe maybe the owner was her real father, because that would explain why she inherited it, but he just completely changed after her mother's death. That's, yeah, that actually makes sense, Ghost. I, I, yeah, I think, I think you might be more correct there. You might be more correct there. Yeah, it's a time loop. Not again! Alright, um, so we can go ahead and do our deductions here, but I think before I do that, I do want to go ahead and talk with, uh, our friend down here. Uh, 
if I can. Thanks, pal. So, what else can you tell me about Dunn's death? Well, not much. My memory's not what it used to be. Um... Tell us about Joe Dunn. What was Joe Dunn like? Uh, he was a decent man. Have you seen all those slogans on the wall? Those motivational phrases? Joe really believed in them. All of them. Um, he was a saxophone player. He played the saxophone, right? Yeah, pretty well for a white boy. But he quit when his wife died. Makes no sense, right? I mean, nothing draws chicks like the brass. Why quit when you're finally free? Ha 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 Um, he was an alcoholic? I found an empty wine bottle on the rooftop. Did Joe Dunn drink? Uh, only for a while. Back when his wife died. But eventually he quit. After that, he'd only drink on special occasions. So it wasn't him that had the romantic date on the roof, okay. Um, tell me about Sonya. What can you tell me about Sonya Dunn? She's hot, ain't she? <laughs> More than just friends? Uh, she doesn't seem to upset her. You seem to get along. Um... She doesn't seem too upset. It seems like her father's death didn't really upset her. Well, she likes to play it cool, which makes her really hot. So you find it hot that you find it hot that the girl doesn't grieve her dead father? I mean, no shame here, I guess. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, I've known it since she was a baby, but she sure has grown. Uh, if you get my drift. I hadn't seen her since she left for college about four years ago. Okay. Um, what about Bobby? Do you have any idea where Bobby Yale could be? Not a clue. Um, tell me about his family. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father, Ava, Ava, Avenarius. Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Yeah, and his wife, Bobby's mom, died shortly a a after. Dunn is the closest thing the family to poor kids had ever since. Okay. So both his parents are dead, and... Okay, so this is making more sense. So he was really close to the boxer owner because basically he was his... Indirectly, like, his father figure. So that makes some sense. Okay. Um, what about his past... You said Yale joined a gang back in the day? Know which one? Hell, I don't know, John. This is New York City. They are more gangs than people. Wait. Did he say he joined a gang? When did he say that? I'm confused now. Uh, what about his career? If Yale's going to fight the reigning champion, he's got a big career ahead of him. He hasn't lost a single fight since he turned pro. The little bastard beat the socks off me a few years back. I dropped by Bobby Yale's apartment. I think he might be involved with O'Leary, the bookmaker. Uh, you sure? Yale had some dark years, no doubt, but Dunn turned him into a decent guy. I'm no detective, but I wouldn't follow that lead. Oh, so he's not wanting us to follow a lead? That's a little suspect. <laughs> right? Yeah, I noticed that too, guys. I would assume so, HJ, but I don't I don't know. Dunn wasn't black, but he allowed you and Bobby Yale to train here. Yeah, this was the first integrated gym in the city, I think. But not everyone liked that, hmm? You've seen the graffitis, right? If I get my hands on that bastard... So, it's a little weird, but okay. I better let you get back to your drills. All right. So, is Black Sad supposed to be ethnically black too? 
Like, am I supposed to be a black guy because I'm a black cat? Like, I don't, I don't know exactly how that is being measured or whatever. Yeah, so here was the uh, the racial slur that we saw earlier, stock, and this is this is the thing about racial issues here. Um, but now that we're here, we can actually pick this lock. Right? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, stalking. A little strange. But I think they might just be going off literal skin color in this case. Hole and other poems. Abraham Greenberg. Loose strings being brought up with li little info. Right, right, right. Mammals versus reptiles. That's like, yeah, that's actually an interesting, interesting point. Yale's locker is full of surprises. Oh, that's the chest expander. So it's like, a, it's like a, like a, like a, uh, a weight tool. Ghost could tell us about this. You ever used a chest expander, Ghost? Anything else? No. I think that's kind of what it's getting to, Kazi. I'm not 100%. The clues collected allow new deductions. Okay. So let's think about this. Before we start doing deductions, um, we still need to talk to the woman at the thing because we kind of. We kind of accidentally left uh, before, hmm. before we uh, got the information out of her. You have other means of working to pecs? <laughs> Cat Batman? I mean, yes. That's also true. Alright. Um, out of curiosity, where will it let me drive? I'd prefer a yellow Cadillac, but I can't complain. Love this guy already. He likes yellow cars too. Oh, so it does give a little indicator here. I guess I just missed that before. What's her name? Wait, what's her name? What do we mean? Did Ghost say something about having a woman? Is there some, is there some news on the love front, Ghost? Or HJ was trying to make a joke. Uh, yeah, this is set in the 40s. I think after after the it's set in the 40s after the war. Oh no, it's set in the 60s maybe. I don't know. Now you got me second guessing myself. The gym was open in the 40s, so yeah, this is set in the 60s. I think you're right. Oh, so now we can actually walk around this like town area. Odd. Can I like go into these places? No. Clock and watch repair. So that's the diner I can go in. Hello, Mr. Bull. Ronald's bookstore, we can't go in. seem to be able to go anywhere that way. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I think the diner is the only place we can go right now. Alright, well, let's go talk to this this woman. Like a Batman costume, right? Yeah, I, th I, thought, I thought it looked a little strange, too. So much fur. I wonder if that would be a problem. You're gonna head out, Jack. Well, thanks for being here, friend. Stay wholesome, buddy. Um, what can you tell me about Sonya? 
What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? I barely know her, but she looks like a smart girl, poor thing. Hardly knows her. Um, what do you think about Jake? What do you think about Jake Ostiambi? Who? Ostiambi. Who's that? A big gorilla. Boxer, too. A friend of Joe Dunn's. Oh, yeah. I barely know him. I don't like how he looks at me. Don't like how he looks at me. Um, what are you doing about your job? Can I ask you about your job? Uh, which one? Um, what about your job at the diner? Tell me about your work here in the diner. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. <coughs> My boss. Oh, glad to hear that. Uh, how long have you worked at the gym? How long have you worked at the gym? It's been, what, four or five years? Yeah, really. Although, I don't think I'll be able to set foot in there again. This must be really hard for you. I'm sorry. Do you work anywhere else? Other than the diner and the gym, you don't work anywhere else, right? I wouldn't have the time, although I'm not sure I want to continue working at the gym. How'd she get her hair to stand up like that? Oh, this is interesting. Do we want to tell her to stay away from the gym, or do we tell her not to quit? This is interesting. Like, I don't feel like we're at the point where we can really tell her this. Um, I mean, we do think that the gym has some shady stuff going on. She seems like a decent girl. I think we can say that she should stay away. It might be best to stay away from the gym, at least for a while, for your own well-being. In due time, things might change. Okay. Joey like used to say the same thing. Mary Maybe. Charles Dunn, Joey. I don't know. Thanks. So she was super friendly with Joey then. Interesting. Um. Well, tell me about Joe then. Let's talk a bit more about Joe Dunn. You found the body. What do you remember? How was done outside the gym? What kind of boss was done? Uh, what kind of boss was done? What kind of boss was Joe Dunn? A good one. Always paid on time. Never raised his voice. If I asked for the day off, he even cleaned the gym. Um, how was he outside the gym? How was Joe Dunn outside the gym? I wouldn't know. I only saw him at the gym or right there. That was his spot. I think everyone liked him. What do you remember? Can you tell me how you found Dunn's body? Well, I thought I was alone. I clean early in the morning before Mr. Dunn comes in. Oh, so you have keys to the gym? Yes, of course. There was paint on the floor, so I thought it'd be a busy morning. And then I saw him. Hanging there, like a baby mobile over a crib. Then I think I panicked. That's an odd way to describe that. When I calmed down, I called the police and waited outside. Sorry, that's all I can say. Don't worry. But if you remember anything else, let me know. I um, explain. I still don't get why he'd commit suicide. Um, <laughs> I don't think that I would describe seeing someone's hanging body as looking like a, a thing over a baby's crib. That's an odd, uh... An odd uh, uh, metaphor or simile. Um, he was a widower. His wife died years ago. Maybe he never got over it. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe he did. That was a long time ago. Um, maybe he had money issues. Maybe he simply had money issues. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Could be. The gym didn't really get that dirty lately. So customers were down. I heard his relationship with his daughter wasn't ideal. Oh, really? Poor man. I don't have kids, but that has to be really hard. Wait, but I thought he did have a good relationship with the kids. Um, anything else about the moment you found the body? Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I'm afraid not. It's too painful. I know. But we need to find Bobby Yale. Anything? Any minor detail? 
could really make a difference. I'll try. I got like zoomed in on the menu for like a millisecond. What was that about? Uh, where could Bobby be? Any ideas where Bobby Yale could be? How, how am I supposed to know? He's really there when I clean the gym. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I, I barely know him. Now all of a sudden she's nervous? Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I really can't remember anything. I'm sorry. All right, I'll see you. Um, sorry. I think that's it for now. See you around. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird cut to the menu. Bye bye. Very weird cut to the menu for sure. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of mixed information here. So. So was he or was he not close to Sonya? That's what I'm trying to understand. Uh, can't talk about that on a PG-13 stream, HJ, sorry. Um, I'm a little confused on what exactly that... I'm a little confused on the relationships here. A little confused on the relationships here. Hmm. Uh, but I think it's time that we start doing our deductions here, so. Maybe it's like those peanut butter crackers and cheese crackers when you eat them, like, all at once. That's my theory. These loading screens are a little long. Maybe I should have installed this on the solid state. All right, before we go in, let's do some deductions here. So see, let's see how this mechanic works. Someone threw a chest expander in the trash. Racial slur. Full of surprises. Neat handwriting. Paint stain. Calls done Joey. Can the trash. Footprints of the gym belong to wedding ring was in an envelope so maybe we can put together chest expander in the trash with the chest expander in the locker well I know this much the chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale Yale killed Dunn with a chest expander? Why would, why would I assume that? Was there something wrong with the chest? Really? I think this game actually is um, translated from another language, so it could be Dutch or something like that. Something fishy about Dunn's suicide. Maybe we can do the wedding ring and the birth date? Um, paint stain and footprints, maybe? No. Um, paint can in the trash, paint stain on the floor? And footprints. What? Can the trash, paint stain, something fishy? Hmm. Yeah, I tried the birthday and the ring. When you lived there, you were trying to find sour cream and it was slag room. What? Um, paint stain and footprints? So it seems like we're still missing something here. Uh, something fishy and she calls him Joey. I don't think that's going to work, but maybe... Maybe. 
maybe two things about Mary. She has nice handwriting and calls him Joey. So she has good handwriting, calls him Joey, and... The birthday. I don't know. So what are we missing here? What are we missing here? What are we missing here? Um, date of birth and something fishy. No. I think we're going to try this one. Let's, let's do racial slur and neat handwriting. No. Um, yeah, it shows it here. Definitely not the same handwriting as her. No, I don't think so. Though the F and the T is similar. Maybe, maybe that's the two that match. Ooh, that was it. So the wedding ring matched her handwriting. Okay. Mary put the wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia Dunn on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? Okay. So now there should be... Mary put the ring in the envelope. Now we have one more deduction. Okay. Mary put the ring in the envelope. Mary calls Dunn Joey. Got it. Hmm. Were Mary Purnell and Joe Dunn an item? So Mary and Dunn were seeing each other. Okay. So now we have another deduction. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, HJ. Um, so, seeing each other, birth date doesn't match the safe. Got it. Hmm. What if Reese's Mary's organic? birthday is the combination to the safe? Yep, called it. Still more deductions. Okay, we're deducing everything right now. Organic? Yeah, I don't know anything about organic Reese's. You got a new Tinder match. Nice, Ghost. How seriously do you take that stuff? Oh, wait. No, don't look at the Rhino Buff, friends. No, don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Weekly took very explicit photographs of the Rhino and his lover. Yeah, I figured you would like that, Ghost. You weren't here earlier. There's your rhino booty. Um, what am I matching here? Uh, cards with staff information. Uh, I don't think this is it. Something fishy. So we have one deduction we can do here. Maybe something fishy and chest expander in the trash? No. Um, oh, Mary's birthday and cards with staff information. Great call, good call. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, that gives us the, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I wasn't thinking about that. Yeah, good call, good call, stalking. Yep, everybody's working together. I like it. See, that's why I love playing games like this that other people haven't played as much. Because, like, it'd be hard, you know, if stalking had played this game already. As long as it, as long as you don't know and are not looking up the answer, yes, I'm perfectly fine with 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 theories and thoughts. Um, I don't I don't like it when people just say blatantly, "Oh, here is the answer." Of course. So let's, let's go ahead and talk to her first, Did actually. you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Oh, okay. Investigation Nothing work takes here, time, okay. as I'm sure you know. Whoosh. Exactly, HJ, exactly. 
And especially if it's and just something like that where it's process of elimination. Birthday, a week prior to that very day. Oh, interesting. So her birthday was a week beforehand. Information. Use Mary's birthday. Use a random combination. Use Sonya's date of birth. Use, I'm just going to do it. Use a random combination. No luck. <laughs> That'd be funny if it's like, oh, it worked. Um, Use Mary's birthday. A gun! Writes password. Money. Mary Purnell's date of birth opens the safe. A few bucks. Just petty cash. Hmm. I never would have taken done for a gun owner. Gun and done safe. Business insurance policy. Last will and testament of Joseph Dunn. That seems big. You open the safe? Yeah, and I think you need to see this. Can you tell me what it says? All right. I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. Mr. You left everything to me, except some boxing trophies and knickknacks that'll go to Bobby Yale. Do you think Bobby Yale read it? Thanks for the info. When was it signed? Congrats, you're one lucky lady. When was it signed? When was it signed? It was written four years ago, just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. Interesting. Do you think Bobby Yale read it? Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. She wouldn't know. Um, I don't think it's appropriate to say congrats. Thanks for the info. All right. Thanks. Hmm. Um, oh, can I... No, I never knew. Okay. Um, in an all-animal world is weird. Yeah, really? That is funny. Although it kind of makes sense, to be fair. But I guess you wouldn't really hear a place called, like... I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess maybe you could. Like, I don't, I don't know what would be similar, like... I mean, it wouldn't be that different than something being called, like, I don't know, Adult Street or something, I guess. Or Redhead. Yeah, I mean, stuff like that exists, so. Um, we're going to talk about the gym's insurance. I never asked about the gym's insurance. That's exactly what I'm reading now. So far, it looks like your standard small business policy. I know who had your mother's ring. Yeah, let's work on that first before we talk about weekly. I think I know who had your mother's ring. You do? Tricked your father into marriage? Maybe I shouldn't bring this up until I talk to Mary first. Uh, on second thought. I'm just going to say nothing and see what happens. You don't know. Do you? I kept Mary's secret. Oops. Now, I didn't exactly mean to do that, but... Um... I don't think too late now! I guess we did it! There's something I never asked you about your father's will. Oh, so I need to say this. Congratulations. You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. All right. Thanks. <laughs> what? Is everything's falling apart? Um, that's it for now. I don't want to talk about the Thanks. interview with Weekly yet. That's because, it for now. You know, we're dealing with other stuff. It. You don't like me, but there's something you need to know. I'm all ears. Pain is no excuse for bad manners. I'll grow on you. I'll find yell. I don't like myself either. I don't really like myself either. So that's one thing we've got in common. I made really her smile. Not, Mr. Blackside. Sonya picked up on your self lo self loathing? What what's going on right now? Thanks. 
That's it for now. She picked up on my self-loathing. Quickest way to a girl's heart. Self-loathing. Oh, I'm just such a terrible person. I hate my life. You wanna go out? I don't know what. <laughs> that whole, like, conversation block was just really weird. I think we, like, did stuff, like, definitely out of the quote-unquote intended order there. You know, we could go see if our crazed goat with no legs is anything new to say. Columbo, he ain't. <laughs> Black sad. Just sad. He's still passed out. Let me just kick him in the head. Wait, can I steal his stuff now that he's asleep? No, I guess I can't. Okay. Seems like I would need that evidence, not just let the homeless guy keep it. But you know, it's, I guess I can't really take it from him. A little weird. Just a double check. Anything else over here? No. Hmm. I did. I did. The red door makes me suspicious. Um. Okay, so I think we need to go back to the diner and talk to her about the ring. Even though we already accidentally kept it a secret. Alright, let's go to Sam Jack's Diner. Yeah, exactly, Stalking. I made a reference to that earlier. Miranda rights weren't even a thing yet. I wanted to make like a women voting joke off that, but I couldn't get there. Facebook Gaming. You, you know, it's actually funny you mentioned that, Ghost, because I had fully intended to go all in on Facebook gaming at one point, and then I didn't do it, and I'm glad I didn't, because the, the only market there is, like, mobile games, randomly. Mobile games are pretty popular on Facebook for whatever reason. I thought I was, like, the crocodile guy for a second. I was, like, horribly confused. 66. Yeah, what year is this set in? I know you're hiding something. What? I know you're hiding something. You're suffering more than you let on. I know about Joey Dunn. Happy birthday. Ooh, I'm gonna say happy birthday and see what... Oh. You. You know? Oops. <laughs> Oops. I was accidentally silent. My goodness. I... I can't talk here. My shift is over in ten minutes. Can you wait a while? Can I get a refill over here, Mary? Coming right up. Sometimes saying nothing says everything. Even when it's accidental. <laughs> to be fair, I guess if I was if I was just sitting there mumbling, she might, you know, say, uh... Oh, he's being silent. Well, he knows, you know, so I, I can kind of get it. I can kind of get it. I wish I'd said happy birthday, though. During the 50s? I mean, I think we're in the 60s, I think. Are we in the 50s? I don't know what year we're in. We're in a year when clocks look like this. Okay, there we go, HJ. Mary Purnell. The angel Joe Dunn found in his golden years. We've been seeing each other for almost two years. It all started with... Well... Weekdays, I start cleaning the gym at dawn. Before my shift at the diner. Joey always came in early. Just a little after I got there.
He used to say it was the best time for the worst task of the day. Oh, I know exactly what he meant. My game like Say no like. more. Paperwork. <laughs> he really hated it. One morning, he saw me crying. I was having a rough day and... <sighs> you were pretending. He took advantage of you. He tried to cheer you up. Uh, he tried to cheer you up. He tried to make you smile. He pointed at the coffee machine. You need a cup of joe and some fresh air. That was the first of many cups on the rooftop. So he shared it with her on the rooftop. Okay. And you seduced Dunn and Dunn seduced you. Oh, uh... Which is where you seduced him. I'm a decent woman, Mr. Blacksand. You might be too young to understand this, but real love has little to do with seduction. One day, we realized those rooftop coffees were the best part of our day. So we began to spend more time together. But you never told anyone. You should have told Sonya. Why the secret? Did you tell anyone? I, I shouldn't assume. Did you tell anyone? Or perhaps you told someone else? No one. Joey didn't want Sonya to hear about it from someone else before we were sure of the relationship. He was afraid that our relationship would only make matters worse. Until one day, on the rooftop, we realized just how serious our relationship was. And we decided to turn those moments into a lifetime. So they were married? He proposed. I mean, she wouldn't propose. So he asked you to marry him? Yes, of course. He gave me the wedding ring and we decided to tell the world. He said he needed to share that happiness with his little girl. Turns out, he wasn't that happy after all. So he gave her his first wife's wedding ring? That's a little weird. What about you? How did you feel about telling Sonya? Maybe you already noticed. I, I have a slight cold. I really should be heading home. Uh... Maybe you should cover your neck. Uh, too much coffee and fresh air? Too much coffee and fresh air? Why? Why would you say that? I lost my scarf a while back. Not sure where. And now, if you'll excuse me, that's my bus stop. A pleasure to speak with you, Mr. Blackstone. Right. Hmm. So it wanted me to ask about the scarf, and she volunteered the information then. Interessante. <laughs> a woman in cosplay? Yeah, kinda. That's funny. Okay. Um, a dodgy avoidance tactic. Okay, so we got information on her. So... What's our next steps from here? I guess we'll go back to the gym and regroup. Maybe talk to our friend over here. He might be able to Shed some light. Joe Dunn. Joe or Joey? Gun in the safe. Um, Joe or Joey? Joe Dunn or Joey Dunn? Huh? Uh, nobody called him Joey. Well, maybe his wife. Although, she didn't call him anything after she died. <laughs> uh, okay. Interesting sense of humor there, friend. Did you know Joe Dunn had a gun in his safe? No way, man. He hated firearms. Although... When Bobby Yale was a teenager, he went through a crazy phase. Even dropped out of the gym and joined the gang. Nothing serious. Early one morning, he broke in the gym. Joe was already here and caught him red-handed. Bobby pointed the gun at Dunn and ordered him to open the safe. So, Joe opened it and asked Bobby to put the gun aside, leave the gang, and start boxing again. I got here five minutes later and found Bobby crying like a baby in Joe's arms. Then he just stood up and put on his gloves. So this is where we were supposed to learn, yeah... Yeah, this is a little weird. You didn't you didn't bother to mention any of this before? Yeah. Seems like more than just casual scuffle. 
I mean, it seems pretty relevant. If we think that the guy killed him, yeah. Because remember, Bobby is the one that we are slightly suspect of being the one that killed him because he vanished right after he, you know, hung himself, supposedly. So yeah, definitely would be relevant. Yeah. Do you have anything new to say, honey? Um, I, I don't want to bring up the interview yet until we get more on this case solved. Thanks. That's it for now. Um. Okay. So what are we what are we doing from here? I mean, yeah. I mean, there's. I mean, that would probably be what he would say. I, I didn't really think about it. That was a long time ago. It was never anything important. Um. Okay, can we do any new deductions here? I don't think we can, but maybe. It doesn't indicate... I, I don't know, like... Interesting. Silently backing out wasn't an option. He had to say goodbye. Um. Okay. So what are we thinking next? Say the same dialogue. Get the practice. Oh, I, maybe I should go back to the rooftop, actually. I'd prefer a yellow Cadillac. Yeah, so I can't drive I anywhere. Can't complain. So I talked to the woman at the diner. She left. Um, guess I can check on Hobo Man. Just make sure there's nothing new there. Um, what am I not connecting here? I'm, I'm missing a piece somewhere. Both literally and figuratively. Can I go up here? Just Skyrim you? Okay, so he's still passed out. Can't seem to do anything there. Still can't search the trash can, so we'll go back inside. So, I mean, the only thing I can do is ask her about the interview with... Uh, Shelly, or whatever his name is. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's all I can do. I can't check out the footsteps anymore, can I? No. So I don't know what's up with this shelf that I can, like... Extraordinary determination. You got anything new to say? Just to make sure. Okay, I didn't think so. Didn't think so. Yeah, it's just a glitch, HJ. Blocking words of encouragement. Yeah, I, I, I was kind of thinking about that in the back of my head. Like, is that is that relevant? I don't think so, though. I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up. Okay, well, I guess the only thing I can do right now is ask her about the interview. So I guess we'll do that. Yeah, they did. That is true. They did point out he really believed him. So why would he cover up one? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Interview. You see, I've got this friend. He's a journalist, and uh, the thing is, well... Uh, he would like to interview you. Why? A woman running a boxing gym? That's quite the story. And how did this friend of yours find out, exactly? Uh, these things just end up leaking to the press. 
Actually, I'm going to say nothing. I, nothing? I, Much better. I don't even want to hear you. I just hope you prove your professional worth before the day is over. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Okay, well, probably should have waited on that. But I, I thought maybe I had to do it. Um, so what am I missing here? What's our next step? Go back to the diner while she's gone? We can't go back to the guy's house. I mean, I think I've investigated everything. Hey, Extinct, welcome in. Oh, here's a card. How did I miss that this whole time? I looked at the measurements before. I mean, I guess we can check it again, yeah. We looked before, but we can check it again. It might it might be that we needed to recheck something we already checked, because it seems like we kind of did some weird stuff. Sonia's measurements stop at 18, and there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. That doesn't doesn't tell us anything. Um, oh, the rooftop. We need to go back to the rooftop. That was the one thing I didn't do yet. Hmm. Yeah, I'm having a good day, Extinct. Hopefully you are too. We're just playing some Black Sad. Episode 1. What'd you think of the, uh, the thumbnail there, Extinct? Still can't go up there. We realize just how serious our relationship was. And we decided to turn those moments into a lifetime. I did miss this before. A good place to spy on Sonia. What am I missing here? I mean, it's possible the woman's scarf is relevant. I need to find that, but... I don't know where that would have been. Can't check the trash can. Huh. I'm at a loss right now. What are you thinking, friends? What are you thinking? What's our next step here? Am I forgetting something? Am I missing something here? What is our next step? Say what, Stalker? Yep, that's the end of the game. That's it. Hmm. Oh, it's was good. Awesome. Well, glad to see you. Was good. How's it going? Glad you made it out to the uh, the stream tonight, friends. Been a little while. Can I walk this way? No. This red door is still suspicious to me, but I can't seem to do anything here. Hmm. I'm at a total loss, friends. If it's not, go back to the diner while she's gone home. And I have no idea what it is. Oh no, you forgot your Twitch password extinct? That's unfortunate. Rip. Rip. I legitimately have no idea right now, friends. I have no idea. If it's not this, I'm at a total loss. Total loss right now. What are we thinking right now, friends? What are we thinking? I mean, I guess I could try combining 
uh, the information as well. Oh no, Legion! Oh, a sign. Back in town. Damn. Okay. But why is there somebody in the diner if it's closed? I just realized. See that? It's like a guy in there smoking. Alright, talk to me, friends. What are we thinking here? Yeah, I saw that, guys. I saw that. I mean, the only thing I can think of literally is to try to deduce here. It's the only thing I can think of here. Uh, paint stain on gym floor, paint can and trash. There he is, a cold. Fishy. What are we missing here? Footprints. Paint stain. Explicit photos. Shamrock? Suspicious. Mary has a cold. I mean, I may not be able to do anything right here. Did we try that one? I think we did. Yeah, that one doesn't work. Maybe expander in the trash. Uh, paint can in the trash. No? I don't think we can do anything else because it told us last time every time we had a deduction that we could do, right? We're missing a clue somehow. Yeah, you'd think so, HJ, but they don't. I've tried like every combination. Mary has a cold. Where do the footprints go? The shelf? Which shelf are you talking about, Stocking? The shelf. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we checked the shelf. We can try to look at it from different angles. I mean, it's maybe possible that I missed something. I mean, I, I have to have missed something somewhere. I had to have missed something somewhere. I mean, as far as I saw, yes. And we can't drive, because I thought maybe we needed to drive back to the apartment now, but it doesn't give us an option to drive at our car. And I've talked to everybody I can talk to. Yeah, I don't know. I'm at a total loss right now, actually. See, knowing my luck, there's probably like a very specific order of events that if you do it exactly step by step, you lock the game and permanently lose. No, in my luck, I like triggered that exact lockout. The one sequence break. <sighs> yeah, the shelf is the only other thing that I can think of. I checked the rooftop. I checked everything downstairs. I haven't went back to the locker. Maybe we need to go back to the locker again. This is the first part that it's felt gamey, where it's wanting me to do like a specific thing. Let's just check the car again really quick while we're at it. I I'd prefer a yellow leave. Cadillac, but I can't complain. Hmm. I mean, that would be my luck. I don't think that's the case, but there is that small hint of, of wait, what is this? Yeah, we already looked at that already, okay.
What's going on? And we've already done everything with the hobo guy. I think. Yeah, let's go check out the shelf in more detail. I guess. I don't... I don't think there's... Yeah, I mean, see, there's nothing... There's no way to... do anything here except for look at those things and touch this. Are you saying that you're bored, Legion? See, I can't look at the message. I don't think there's anything going to be new in the toilets. Yeah, nothing here. Go back to the locker, I guess. The dad dating sim, yeah. Yeah, like... Huh. I am totally lost right now. Wait, what? When did... I, these? Apparently I can. Uh, apparently we can open these randomly. Arthur Tucker. What is this? I think we found. Think we found some clues. The proud South. Hmm. Arctic nations strike again. Supremacists believe that God created the Earth to be dominated exclusively. Mortal Sin. Arthur Tucker, one of seven members arrested during riots. Yeah, this is new. Interesting. Yeah, I guess I just either missed these lockers or it didn't let me look at these lockers before. I don't know which. Mr. Tucker, an amateur boxer, broke an officer's jaw. Bastards. Interesting. Well, this looks suspicious. It smells like paint. There's a stained towel in Arthur... Tucker's locker. Who is Arthur Tucker? Who is Arthur Tucker? Is Arthur the... Arthur was the rival, right? I, I can't even... There we go. Of course. Okay. Hey, Oclitical, welcome. What's going on, friend? Good to see you tonight. Okay, so now that that's what we were missing. That's the clue that we were missing. Okay. So, now that's the last paint clue. That's what it is. Okay, it's all making sense now. So, um... So, stained towel. Someone threw paint in the trash. No? Paint stain on gym floor. Stained towel. Yeah, maybe the towel and slur. Failure. Yeah, okay. Arthur Tucker painted the racial slur on Yale's locker. Okay. You know anything about Arthur Tucker? Racial issues. Not all folks are as open-minded as Dunn. I happen to know who painted the lockers. Arthur Tucker. I knew it! I knew it was him, that bastard. I'm gonna whip the white out of him. Okay. Yeah. 
That's a good question, Stalking. I would assume so. Maybe, maybe not in the, like, maybe, maybe in more ethnically diverse places. Okay, so I guess see if she has anything to say. Can't even talk to her right now. Oh yeah, she's mad at me because I asked about the interview. I knew not to do it. I knew not to ask about the interview. Um... I mean, it doesn't really change anything. There has to be something that we can do. Yeah, that is, that is kind of weird. A crazy speed run oak. That sounds fun. Wait, I can use the phone now? Smirnov. Oh, I got the lead now. Okay. Yeah. Smirnoff. I think I have a new lead on the Dunn case. Uh, I know Dunn and the cleaning lady were engaged, or Dunn's death might be a racial matter. Um, I know Dunn and the cleaning lady were engaged. Just start there. Dunn and the gym's cleaning lady were about to get married. Great. Call Woods News. They'll know what to do with such an incredibly interesting piece of information. The combination on Dunn's safe was her birthday. He even gave her a ring. You know, your typical suicidal bliss. Okay, I'm still not convinced, but I might have something for you. Oh, okay. We're progressing the plot! 133. True, HJ, true. And we know that there were four people that came in here that were potentially all happening at the same time. And we know that the first and fourth were angry or something like that. So are we meeting at like a restaurant or something? Life is often off key, like a bad song. The notes come together but feel flat, unable to create anything resembling music. And yet, there are ways to string them together to create harmony. Ways that are not always entirely in our hands. I like this glasses. You look tired, John. I was born tired. You do too. I'm a cat. <laughs> I'm a cat. I can't help it. It's just the way we cats are. Well, I can't help but be glad to see you. Yep, I'm beat. I'm starving. Just got back from the annual police medical. Not only did I have to fast, but I also had to chug two enormous glasses of water. John, you all right? Uh, I've had better days, man. I've had better days. And I'll have them again, I hope. We both deserve to. The thing is, I'd love to help you out with this case, but I can't. You know I work for the state of New York. If I had any information, I couldn't share it with a private eye. Even if it was lying on top of this table. How do your kidneys process so much water? You could order something to eat. How do your kidneys process so much water? You drank two huge glasses of water. How are your kidneys coping with that? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should uh, go to the... If you'll excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Chief Medical Examiner. Post-mortem report preliminary. Um... 
Medical team B3, Joseph Richard Dunn, deceased, widower, 7 p.m. I like how the year is actually smudged out. So I guess it doesn't tell us exactly what year we're in. Dunn's age, weight, and height. That might me that might add up with the rope not reaching him, which I think is what's going to happen. Because 5'5 five five is pretty short. And that rope was taller than me, and I'm a tall cat. Um, violent asphyxia. Four ring-shaped marks around the entire circumference caused by the rope. Four? Four makes it sound like that uh, body stretcher. Hey, Mayo, good to see you tonight. Uh, no, we are not Batman, although similar. Mm. The children's measurement? Slightly scraped knuckles probably caused recent trauma. Interesting. Interesting. Ha! Ditto. Uh, 7 p.m., 19 something. Violent asphyxia. Suicide. Internal findings. No internal autopsy was performed. Seemed sufficiently conclusive. Okay, so now we're getting some good information here. Now I feel even thinner. So do my kidneys. Thanks. Truth is, John, it all seemed clear to me before, but now? Please. Promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. Um, I'm gonna say nothing. All right. In any case, keep me posted, will you? Friend. Water intoxication. Take care, John. As always, Smirnov had given me new, potentially relevant information. Not to mention second thoughts. When an old dog like him gets that serious, one must be prepared to bite. The clues collected allow new deductions. Okay, um... We can actually go back in here now? Well, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, it seems, HJ. Just turned off the grill. You all got about 25 seconds to order your last burger before it goes cold, you bastards. <laughs> hey, if it isn't Mr. Don't Mess With Me, get out of my restaurant. And don't come back unless you want a facelift. No one messes with good old Sam, little kitty. What? I want a cheeseburger for a friend. You're lucky the kitchen is closed. I would have spit in that burger. Come on, you bastards. Finish your meals and be gone. I'm closing in five. Have we interacted with this person before? I'm I'm confused. I'm confused. Uh, Mayo says, question A, you want to be a peregrine, peregrine falcon. You can be the fastest animal on earth with the ability to fly. Got, nice, good choice, Mayo, good choice. I don't think we'd interacted with that person before, so I'm a little, a little confused. A little confused on that one. Like, what? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Neo Wave, good to see you. Welcome in tonight, bud. Thanks for joining us. I mean, you could maybe make the argument that this is just someone that I've had an altercation with before the the game started, you know? Which I mean is the only way I guess to justify it. Because I don't think we've seen that character interacted with him before. Yeah. Justifications. Or are you trying to scare me? Cat detective looks a bit weird. Yeah, that's what everybody's saying. It looks like Batman, right? 
Definitely has a bit of a Batman vibe. Okay. So... I'd prefer still, a yellow Still can't go anywhere. Just double check. I can't complain. Okay. Um, I guess let's go ahead and do our deductions here. Um, something off about his suicide and his weight. That should do it. Boom. He's not tall enough to reach the rope. Hmm. <laughs> I like that, that dog is just, hey, what you doing there, buddy? Huh? I'm much taller than Dunn. And I can barely reach the noose. Rookie mistake, murderer. There's no way Dunn hanged himself. Let me test it out and see if it... Not on his own, at least. <laughs> that was pretty funny, actually. The dog's just, like, there. Clues collected allow new deductions again. Okay, cool. I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up. I don't know why the bell can be interacted with, but he just says, hmm. Hmm. See? Let's see if I were free and, eh, let's do our deductions first, actually. Okay. Dunn wasn't tall enough to hang himself from the noose, and his knuckles were swollen. Oh, and he had four neck marks. And the knuckles were swollen. Yeah, okay. So all those go together. Wait, no? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, chest expander belongs to Vane and four different neck marks. And wasn't tall enough. There we go. Bobby, yeah. I don't know if you had a motive to kill Dunn, but you certainly had the murder weapon. Done with strangle with Yell's chest expander. Okay. We can do another deduction now. I like the I like the way this works. It's not perfect, but I do like like the like the idea of it. Um Dunn was strangled by the chest expander and his knuckles were swollen. No? Who the footprints belong to? Someone threw a paint can in the trash? No, oh, where did that? Paint on the gym floor. Trash. Swollen knuckles? Oh. Paint on the gym floor. Someone threw a paint can in the trash. When Dunn died, his knuckles were swollen. And was strangled? Oh. We're close. Are we missing something here still? No, it says we have a deduction. Paint can in the trash. Wait, what? I thought that one just worked. Paint stain on gym floor. Strangled. Oh, do I have to do it in a certain order? I'm so confused. Strangled. Knuckles. I don't know what the order... I had it going in the right order then. Um, okay, so wait. So, paint can of trash. Knuckles. Oh, that was it. Okay. I was doing too much, I guess. All right. Dunn punched a paint can. But why? Wasn't he calm and composed? Now, can I interact with this? Huh? 
Okay. So I don't have any more deductions, right? No, okay. Well, they made to go back in. Oops. Oops-a-daisy. Well, Jake was a friend is what it, it sounds like. And he was also the one that brought... Wasn't he the one that brought brought us to the girl and everything? Or hi, like got the girl and us like, together? Okay, so he doesn't have anything new to say. I'm going to sneeze. That was like a that's like a half sneeze. It stopped. I don't know why I'm so sneezy tonight. You still mad at me, honey? Yeah. Okay, so what's our next steps from here? Go get the chest expander, maybe from the from the the, the homeless guy. Yeah, I, I need to find her scarf. Need to go scarf down a pile of cat food. Um, all right, Mr. Hobo, do you have any more information? Nope. Now maybe we can. Still not? Why would we... Going back here. Hmm. I guess I should check the trash can just to make sure. I don't think I can do anything there. Appreciate everybody hanging out, by the way, tonight. If you've not answered the question of the day, don't forget to do so. Good time to do it, because we have a bit of a lull right now while we're, like, literally deducing now what our next steps are. Okay. We're close. We're close on this. But what is the next step that we're missing here? And maybe we need to drive now. I'd oh. prefer a yellow Cadillac, but I can't complain. Thanks, good luck there, man. So I still can't drive anywhere. I've already attempted to talk to both of them and can't. I've already deduced everything I can, so yeah, the only option is to go back to the diner, I guess, to tell her about their theory about the death? Or wait, or I couldn't use the phone, right? I checked that. I wasn't able to make the, use the phone to call the cop. This is interesting. This is interesting. Because somehow the Mafia has to tie into this, and we haven't even started drawing those connections yet. Hello, Mr. Police Dog. Since 1928. Giraffes are your favorite animal, but you pick a cheetah because the super speed? Okay. Okay, so I can't go in the diner. What are my options here, then? I can't deduce anything. Huh. What's my next steps here? Like, literally the only option would be to try to talk to her again. Maybe I need to leave the gym and come back, Randall. That's the only thing I can think of. Or go to the rooftop, I guess. Hmm. How's everybody feeling about this game right now? Like, you feel like it's interesting enough? Or do you feel like it's just totally illogical? Yeah, I think it's pretty interesting. You like a two-stocking? Nice. Nice. 
I like the I like the kind of like literally piecing things together. I don't like the matching up section. Hey, Tinker Gel, good to see you back tonight, friend. How's it going? Welcome in. Um. I still can't go that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very similar to a Telltale game, for sure. You love Detective and Mysteries, Neo? Yeah, for sure. I enjoy stuff like this, too. Nice change of pace? Yeah, true. Packing for a vacation trip? Nice! I appreciate you hanging out. We already tried talking to him. Let's try again. No? Maybe we can interact with the stuff in the locker again now that we're suspect of him being the killer. Maybe. Oh, really? It's your favorite series, Tinker Shell? That's awesome. Yeah, this game would be up your alley then, probably. Yeah, so we need to check... No, we can't check the box out. We've already done that. Only we can look at his poem book. Which doesn't help. Yeah, you should. Turned out better than you thought? What do you mean, Neo? Use the phone. Yeah, it's probably exactly, probably exactly right. Stalking. Yeah, it's on Steam Tink. It's called Black Sad. Okay, she won't talk to me. Nothing in the safe. Yeah, I've already looked at them all. I mean, it's possible that re-looking at them again would be a thing. I doubt it. Other than the rooftop, I don't know. I don't know what else we could do here. Yeah. I guess it's just so you can read them. Oh, wait, what? I don't even want to imagine weekly falling from up here. Well, that was apparently new, but... I wonder if we could have just, like, horrible let him die. Look at this again, I guess. I didn't, did not mean to look at the champies. Although that does look like a pretty good candy bar, if I'm being honest. Okay. What am I missing here, friends? What am I missing? I've looked at everything, right? It may be a matter of re-looking at stuff at this point. I don't know what else it would be. Unless there's magically a scarf up here now. There's a card over there. Well, I'm glad I did walk over here randomly. Um... Collectibles. Just a collectible, Cuzzy. This area is large and interesting. Well, large, maybe. I don't know about interesting. Doesn't seem like there's anything up here. Let's make sure we can't go up top now. We, we haven't been able to before, but let's just double check. Just make sure nothing new is unlocked. Yeah, I still can't go up there. Okay. Um, well... See, that one looks... Cracked or open or something. <sighs> I have no idea right now. I have no idea. Yeah, I did. I did everything. Yeah, it may literally be a matter of like looking at stuff again. I mean, let me just look at random stuff. 
don't think of anything like this, but I mean, heck, let's look at everything. Sonia's measurements stop at 18, and there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. Okay. This, is, this is important, but no, I can't do any deductions right now. I'll double check. Yeah, no new ones. I mean, unless it t unless I can do it without it telling me, which I don't think so. We can try it. Um, Dunn must have punched a, a can and strangled. Uh, paint stain on gym floor. Must have punched a can. And was strangled. Um, stain on gym floor. Punched a can. Who do the footprints belong to? Who do the footprints belong to? Paint stain on gym floor. No. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we can do anything there because I think it tells you anytime you have a deduction. Maybe it's just a matter of interacting with a specific thing now. Are you trained? The luckier you get. to excel at anything else. Truer words. I, I'll go check it. I mean, it's possible. I, it, I wouldn't think so, but maybe. I'm trying to interact with these just in case something triggers or something. I, like, I, don't, I don't think it's any of this, but you never know. Nothing over here. This is his locker that I can go in. Wait. Wait. Was there a second locker here again? Seriously? Did I miss the whole time? Oh, there's the scarf. Okay. And Okay. Now, literally that was it? That's, that's annoying. Okay. Hmm. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> Jake, give me one good reason not to smash in your face. What the hell are you doing in my locker? Uh, whoa, man, we're friends. Come on, man, we're friends. Calm down. Friends don't spy on each other. Mm. Have me. Sometimes, John, I can oh. just punch you. <clears throat> uh. So now Jake became angry. Should I go back in and try it again? Just kills this game over. To my favorite bodyguard. Damn. I'd forgotten that Jake used to work for Natalia. This proves I was right. It's too soon to move on. So maybe Natalia wasn't somebody I was in a relationship with. Maybe it was... Um, a case that I couldn't solve or something, maybe? Yeah, really, HJ. Maybe he was kind of watching us the whole time, though. Hmm. Hmm. So it won't let me pick up the key yet. Okay. Okay, so we can do a new deduction now. was strangled, chest expander, Jake got mad? I don't 
don't think that would be it, but we'll try it. Drake got mad and Mary has a cold. That doesn't seem directly connected because he didn't let us pick up a scarf yet. Um, Maybe this. The buffalo that works for O'Leary had that, and then Jake got mad. I think it's it. Yeah. Because we saw the pin. Why do you have that pin, Jake? What mess are you in? Two shamrocks. Yeah, exactly. Jake won't say he works for O'Leary. So now I need to confront Jake about this, I guess. Can't believe it was literally just extra lockers both times. It's really annoying. Yeah, sounds okay, like it's Okay, Jake. I told you. Desmond O'Leary. Huh? I know you work for him. Now you're just making stuff up. Why would you say that? O'Leary's men told me or I saw the shamrock. Um, he'll get mad if we know we looked in his locker again. O'Leary's men told me a while ago. Okay, let's say you're right. So what? What are you gonna do, huh? I'm a detective. Take a guess. Tell Sonya. Tell the cops. Nothing. You're my friend. Um. I'm a detective. I'm a detective. What do you think I'll do? Yeah, definitely better detective than friend. All right. You win, pussycat. Business isn't going that well lately. Natalia was my last well-paying job, and it's been a while. Then, O'Leary shows up and offers me a, 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 a bodyguard contract. What was I supposed to do? Say no? I, I, I get it, I get it. Yeah, I understand. Seriously, you don't seem like the type to accept uh, shady offers. Yeah, I would never. I would never accept a shady offer ever in my life. Um, I would never say yes to a job I'd like that. I'd never take a job like that, but that's just me. I'm no one to judge. Hey, uh, O'Leary might run an illegal gambling operation, but it's not like he's killing people or conning widows. And I, I'm just a bodyguard. I make sure no one gets hurt. What I do, including my contract, paycheck, is 100% legal. How bad can that be? He's paying you with dirty money, fair enough. Uh, fair enough, man, whatever. Yeah, you're right. The fact that his business is illegal doesn't turn you into a criminal. We're only accountable for our own actions. But that's not what bothers me. You're covering up O'Leary's role in John Dunn's death. I think you played a role in Dunn's death. Uh, covering up. I know you're covering up O'Leary's role in Joe Dunn's death. Huh? O'Leary? No way. I mean, I don't think so. Jake, please. Well, I guess there's no point in hiding it now. I was here the day Dunn died. Go on. I had to take care of some business for O'Leary. He makes me wear the shamrock when I work for him. I left the damn thing in my locker. Like Say you did no today. More. You came in the back door. How did you... Yeah, that's it. Joe had mentioned he'd been painting that afternoon. But I forgot. So his footsteps. I stopped in my tracks when I saw him screaming bloody murder at Bobby Yale at the top of the scaffold. Does this happen often, or what was he saying? What, what was he saying? What exactly was he saying? Uh, something like, uh, if you do that, I'll call off the fight and make sure you never set foot in this gym again. I didn't want them to see me, so I left. Jake, why didn't you tell me? He I thought tell you'd us be anything. pissed off. Well, you were wrong. I'm sorry, John. I, I should have said something. We all make mistakes. Well, you owe me one. Uh, you owe me one. You should have. Let's just say you owe me one, all right? You sure drive a hard bargain, John. All right. Time to go. I need to think about everything you just told me. All right. Lots of information now. So can I... What exactly was he saying? Uh, something like, uh, if you do that, I'll call off the fight and make sure you never set foot in this gym again.
lead with speed follow with power. Hmm. Um, okay. So let's do our deductions. Let's go with these. According to Jake, had a strong argument. Dunn will strangle with the chest expander. Uh oh, probably not. Okay. Um, Dunn wanted to call off the fight. They had an argument. What? Yeah, well, I tried to do that before. Maybe it works now. Yeah. So, paint stain. Uh, punched a bank can. Uh, that doesn't wait. Okay, where do the footprints belong to? Uh oh, okay. Paint stain on the floor. Dumb punched a paint can. Strong argument. Maybe this is it. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Hey Jethro, good to see you back, he friend. Must have punched the can while he was arguing with Yale. I guess that explains why he threatened to call the fight off. Okay. Good information. Hey, Miller, good to see you tonight. What's happening, Miller? Coming in at the uh, end of our investigation here, or the middle, maybe. Okay, so... Wanted to call off the fight. Strangled. There we go. Christ. Did Yale kill Dunn just because he wanted to call off the fight? But then why would he skip town and not be in the fight if the fight was so important? That doesn't add up. Oh, here we go. Bird, so you can come to, to my house and knock and go away? I like it, Jethro. She doesn't look happy. I always knew Bobby had issues. But I never thought he'd go that far. The evidence is stacking against him. It's too early to say. I don't think he did it. Um, It's too early to say. I couldn't say. In my line of work, you really shouldn't jump to conclusions. But the chest expander, the box in his locker, the marks on my father's neck. It all leads to him. That is true. In any case, that doesn't change a thing. It does, actually. Now we know he didn't kill himself. True. My father's still dead, and you still haven't found Bobby Yale. Nothing has changed. Opening the safe and finding my father's will won't help us achieve anything. So please hurry. Time's wasting. Okay. So now we have our first, like, real suspect. Sonia's indifference never ceased to amaze me. But most importantly, why was she so opposed to Yale? John Blacksad? I think I owe you an apology. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... I'm just gonna say nothing. <laughs> Alright, I understand. After all you've been through, you'd prefer not to talk in front of them. I'm so sorry they wrinkled your suit. The thing is, uh... They didn't know we shared a common goal. Bobby Yale. I want to find him and get to the bottom of this as much as you do, Mr. Black Sad. So please, kindly accept my invitation. Why not share our findings? Come on. O'Leary, an ally? Say what, Jethro? Uh, yeah, I don't think I have much of a choice here. Of course. You don't mind me riding in this fancy car with a wrinkled suit, do you? Oh, I 
that you look mighty dapper, Mr. Black Sad. Although, if those wrinkles were to rub off on me... <laughs> I always play it nice and safe. Stepped into the car of my own accord. I mean, I was going one way or another, so I think we better go uh, the way that requires the least amount of physical discomfort. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it's Jay. Thank you, Black Sad. You won't regret this. So let's cut to the chase. I need Bobby Yale to fight Stone. There's just too much money at stake. So, I'm offering you my help to find Yale. Let's work together. What kind of help do you need? I always work solo. I'm in. I don't work with criminals. What kind of help do you need? What kind of help do you need? A simple exchange of information. You're a good detective, and I, well, let's just say I have my own ways of making people talk. I'm gonna say nothing. Why? What? Do my own ways scare you? Please, hear me out. Let's say I bet a beer that we find Yale in three days, and you bet a beer that we don't. In three days, one of us has to buy the other a beer. Is that so bad? We're simply two grown men using our money and free will to conduct a small private exchange. And most importantly, we're not hurting anyone. So, yeah, I run a gambling business. What's so bad about that? It's immoral. It's illegal. Uh, I can't really say. I mean, I can't confront him here. He's the I power can't really position. Say. Well, I can. Nothing. But I'll tell you what is wrong. The way our government is ruining America. We live in a so-called free country. A place where honest people can make a living, provided they don't hurt anybody. We're not communists. Well, at least I'm not. I would have never thought otherwise. As for me... None of your business. I'm no commie. I'm a sympathizer. Uh... I'm no commie. I'm not either. See you, Jeffrey. Ah, well then, you see? We're all among friends. In any case, that's not my point. The government betrays our nation's values by passing communist laws that forbid an honest man like me to make a living without hurting a soul. And that, Mr. Black Sad, is just wrong. I'd even say it's unconstitutional. Do you get my point now? It doesn't just what we do. Gambling is also more fair enough. Gambling is illegal. Um... Uh, doesn't justify. Okay, but that doesn't justify what you do for a living. Oh boy, did you hear anything I just said? Anyway, when the government passes these laws, there's only one legitimate weapon the people can wield. The same weapon that turned America into a great nation. Civil disobedience. Kind of not so, wrong about that. As the proud American that I am, it's my duty to disobey. Civil disobedience does not tolerate your ways. You're bending the truth. You might have a point. Uh, you, you are bending the truth. You're bending the truth to justify organized crime. Oh, no. It might have been organized crime, but not anymore. I wasn't always a boss, you know. No, sir. I started at the bottom when Lucky Blitzen ran the show. That good for nothing. Lucky Blitzen. This was a reign of terror. Extortion, violence, you know, that sort of unpleasant thing. When I took over, I decided I'd make people want to do my bidding. Not out of fear, but out of gratitude. I decided to help people so they would help me. That beating your thugs gave me was really helpful. Thank you so much. Ah, ah, ah. Those poor bastards didn't even know you were a detective. I told them five that times. were on our side. Maybe at first. But when they tied me up and beat the socks off me, 
They knew very well who I was. Seriously? That goes against my rules. Who was it? Uh, the buffalo. It was just the buffalo guy. Just Wilson. It was just Wilson. That bastard. Don't you worry. I will have a serious I don't serious know if I should have said that, because now I'm kind of out of the other guy. I cannot tolerate beat me up. this behavior. Please, accept my apologies, Mr. Blacksad. You see, a lot of people work for me. Many families depend on my business. Not only that, St. Christopher's Hospice practically lives on my donations. The widows of my late employees are set for life. Their kids get free schooling. The cops leave me alone because they know my business doesn't hurt anyone. On the contrary. And, ah, it looks like we're here. Hmm. Okay. Interesting conversation there. I'd imagine everybody can join, but I don't really know exactly how that'll work, Cuzzy. Let's go, says Cuzzy. You just be silent the whole way? I, you know, I'm curious. I know in The Walking Dead, there's actually like a super serious conversation that if you say nothing throughout the whole thing, you get like a secret special game over. Yale's apartment is no longer guarded, right? Okay. Yale's apartment? <laughs> I told you, I'm on your side. Go ahead, search the place. I'll wait down here. When you're done, maybe you'll change your mind and share your findings with me. I mean, definitely nothing could have not. possibly disturbed. Mr. Black Sad. I'll make sure thugs. you're suitably compensated. Wilson, come here. Alright, interesting. Buyers or the sellers? Yeah, that's 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 a tough question too, right? Alright. Well, I believe this is an excellent stopping point, friends. We just got quite a bit of uh of information and stuff here. So let's take a quick peek at our uh, at our character development here. So we're a little more hard-boiled, a little more cautious, a bit more pragmatic, significantly more romantic, uh, a little more astute, very swift and not at all clumsy, um, very talkative, and a little profitable. So, all right. All right. Yeah, you can look at, like, your character development to see, like, where you're at. You, you probably didn't see that. I looked at that earlier. All right, well, this game's pretty awesome so far. I definitely, uh... Definitely am, am interested to see where it goes from here. So uh, we will definitely be playing this more on Sunday. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and find somebody to do a quick raid on tonight. So definitely hang out for a minute while we go share some Twitch love here, friends. Has it been fun to listen to? Yeah, I think so. I love like talking about games like this and like sharing theories. It was a little annoying there at just that one portion where... Well, there was the, the two complaints I have is that it seemed like we got a bit of story out of order once with the with the gang stuff from from our friend. Um, that was weird. Um, and then, like, those lockers that apparently I missed somehow. That was a little weird. But outside of that, I have no problems with it. It's been very good so far. So definitely interested to see where it goes from here. Uh, who are we going to raid? Who are we going to raid tonight? Who are we gonna raid tonight? Uh see we gave Duo one recently, we gave Aria one recently. Um give Tony one recently. Not a lot of people online. Um Let's give uh Super Cubby, what are they doing? What are they doing? I'm open for suggestions. I'm open for suggestions. Super Cubby. Let's take a look at them. Let's take a look at them here. Community games? Okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. Let's go share some love with Super Cubby. I don't think I've been over there uh, before, so that'll be what we do. I'll take your suggestion for free, HJ. You don't even have to spend points on it. Alright, Super Cubby. Alright, boom. 
Shadow Legend, then you can raid. That was actually that would actually be pretty funny because yeah, I like I like the way you think there. I like the way you think there. All right, uh, we are going to go share some love there. So definitely hang out for a minute, say hi, do all that good stuff. Um, on Sunday, we'll be back with more of this game. I definitely look forward to seeing where it goes from here. I've definitely been uh, definitely been enjoying it, and uh, I'm interested. I'm interested to see where it goes from here. So, uh, friends, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, thanks so much for making this stream um, better by being here and being a part of it. Shout outs to all those who dropped uh, for Hamlet for dropping a sub and uh, such earlier and uh, all that good stuff. Good night. Good night overall. Um, and yeah, outside of that, uh, I'll see each of you on the next stream. And stay awesome, friends. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know that you were seeing the stream, that you stuck away, stuck around, rather, all the way to the end. Farewell, people. Oh, yeah, don't forget to jump in the Discord if you're not already in, friends. I think everybody here is in, but there we go. All right, now I got all the, all the, uh, what is, what is the word? Uh, not shopkeeping. What's the word? Housekeeping. All the housekeeping done. Yep, yeah, we were here. We were here. Awesome. See you then, friends.